Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Mana Lords early play beta, and we're building the perfect village. Hopefully, uh, we are Tony Huff, and we're going to be looking like now we can't. <laughs> we're going to be looking like a grizzled old war veteran. We're going to make our our shield that we have as our logo for the channel, most likely in this direction. Do we do we need a more checkered background you know what I'm, i i kind of i kind of like the when you take the primary color we take the secondary color to be more the orangish yeah that's okay and the symbol is gonna get a nah, i can't stay in the wide who i like that Hey guys for this coming out i have not yet decided we'll see uh first we'll get to check how the game is actually playing we're gonna start with a default difficulty i mean there's relaxing there's default there's challenging but i feel like i, I want to get used to it too right we have the eye aggressiveness rate of frequency rate of free years so you can set up everything you'd like how difficult you want things to be right how difficult you want the game to feel uh, we, you have the on the edge, the restoring the peace. Two territories in the north are claimed by the illegitimate Baron. Then you have a rise to prosperity, fulfill the requirements of your citizens' plan, and rule your medieval town as you see fit. And then on the edge, grow your city and raise forces as quickly as you can. The lands are passed by riders, and undefended settlements will quickly perish. Now we're going to start here very much in the beginning because it says conquer every region, and that's what we want. We want world domination. Now I haven't played a single second of the game. Okay. I haven't I haven't checked out anything yet. I've just seen some basic gameplay, watch the trailers as you do. So I'm going in, I'm going in blind. And I'm excited to see what my whole whole city has to offer. New message. Build up your town, your manor, and when ready, press claims towards regions owned by your opponents. Once a claim has been pressed, be ready for battle. Okay, let's see. Uh, families need food, fuel, and roof above their heads to survive. Supplies in the region panel above show how much you get left. Well, we get we get some things left. We have our settlers. We have some some things. We don't even have a road. I mean, we literally have a homeless people tent. <laughs> so that's not good can i kind of like basically build around uh allow villagers to use hand carts to transport up to 10 goods well that's fantastic can i can i just so let's 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 spy out this okay there's a road this is a wild animals that's a clay deposit there's a trade point oh we got nothing here okay so this is a uh, this is an iron deposit and this is stone deposit so if i if i build anything can i does it matter if i start building it here so if, I'm, if I'm going to build anything, I might as well build it around here. So we want a logging camp, right? Uh, away from the wild animals, that's for sure. <laughs> Every region lord has strength and weaknesses. Be sure to check all the resource deposits as well as investigate the soil fertility. How do, I, how do I check soil fertility? Wait, I can, I can see that here. Uh, underground water. Um, flex fertility. I would assume orange is okay. <laughs> Barley. I guess red is bad. Yellow is okay. And rye. Oh, rye. See, I can I can do rye here. Underground water. You see, like this is looking good. So we we're gonna put our logging cam right there. Next to the trees. Unassigned families work on construction automatically. Fantastic. Construction priority is high. So do my lads just now take up all the resources. Oh, they're coming. Look at this. This is what we would like to see. Timber requires oxen to be moved. Villagers will automatically get ox when they need it. Look at how cute this looks. Do they have faces? They do have faces, but they're hidden below their hats, which is actually really smart. I mean, she does have a face. But why... But like, just, 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 you know, give them beards, no beards and all that kind of stuff. Ryan, can I zoom in and see the dangerous animals? <gasps> oh, this is just, wait, did it say dangerous animals or just animals? It's uh, wild animals. I mean, for some reason I thought it meant dangerous animals. I'm wrong. It just means wild animals. 
right? Oh yeah, press the I and you can walk between them. Expect glitches and everything. I, I heard about that. You can actually choose your lord. And that's you. Pretty cute, right? Good. Now we can speed up the game, but we don't want to. So we're building currently the logging camp. And we want to have a woodcutter's lodge. Yeah, they produce timber, but... Okay, workers fell nearby trees to make... Wait, this is for timber? This is for firewood. And this makes timbers into planks. And this is a forest. Workers plant new trees. Okay, so we need everything of this, right? We also do need a hunting camp. So can I, can I potentially put the hunting camp like... Like right here. It should be close by, right? We're going to put this as close as possible to the woods. So they can reach this really far. And I want to like put it here on the road. I want my, my settlement to be like close by here. We're going to put the hunting camp there. And we're going to forge a hut. Workers gather berries. Nearby berry deposits. How do I even find berry deposits? It's clay. But I need berries. Okay, so we get mining. That would be for stone cutters. Logistics. Residential. A birch blonde provides living space for a single family or two families when expanded. A well would be not bad. We got farming, but we're not going to start with farming yet, right? We're going to do the base necessities. The settlers camp. Place it in an empty claim territory in order to settle it. Do I need a settlers camp? I feel like I, I have I have like a logging camp which cost me two, right? Then I have a and we have the hunting hunting HUD that cost me two for timber. So I can do more things, and I get this one which doesn't cost me anything. Well, that's great. The construction cost is fantastic. How much does a road cost? If I was going to. Connect to that. Good. That didn't cost me anything. Well, it's fantastic. Can I just start building a? We have this is free looking for the residential. So we need a plot of land, right? But I don't feel like I wanna I wanna plot this out right here probably do something in this direction here build the actual village deeper in the wood your message i've heard of your renown and only seek to defend my rights and my honor against those who would wrong me i hope you will not judge me by the rumors and slanders that some may spread finance here by my own seal hillebold von burenort when right back dear hilda hilda bold from burenort Rhetoric, need silver, declaration. No, I'm, I'm not ready yet to, to send any things, right? Not unless you've been having this on your radar as well. We'll be having to check the game from like all the possible things that it has to offer. I'm going to like kind of start building like a plot back here. Plot points. I need four plot points. Okay. This two houses, two families, right? On one plot. Yeah, that would work. And they'll get their things going later. And we, need, we need all the timber from this one here, but this is, what is what is this? This is settled, right? Oh, wait, why is this looking so weird now? Did, wait, did I not build this? 
Can we let's try again? Ah, forget to press the marker to actually finish it. Uh, what, what do we have? Like, this is the... This is the homeless people 10 yam. So we, we don't we don't need this. We just need all the supplies from here to be put over to the sign. And when we got this one on the construction, look, look, they're building. Hey, you. No slacking off. <laughs> Did you just say, chat, hey, you, stop slacking off? He did. Work, work. Yeah. Okay, what we're going to do is we need a well, too. So, wait, let me step first things first. Make this by road. Then we're going to build a... Ah, there. Ah, we need a well where underground water is. I didn't actually check that before. I'm an idiot. But here's going to be a well thing. Right? I did not check that beforehand. I feel like I don't want to do this because that would kind of look ugly. I kind of like, you know, when, when roads are behaving like that. But on the other side... Do roads behave like this when we can connect that and this here, right? It's just building. There's fighting too. And the fighting is like total war, but on a different scale and also working quite different. So this one is still not done. I just, I just, uh, increased the timing. So things would go a bit faster, right? Because until they have all the goods over here, it's going to take a while. What I would ask myself is where are they going to bring the stuff, right? We get the hunting hut under construction. We still have enough fuel. We still have food. We obviously need more food and we need more. Let me check this. How, how many, how many I have unassigned, uh, families without assignment will work on construction. Then we have. We have five families, correct? Five unassigned families. Total population is ah, we have five five level one families. So if every plot has one family, then I need more plots, right? To make people happy. And buildings, flexible borders, places. Yeah, we had that already. Thank you. Oh, I can get three plus out of that? Interesting. Not enough goods? Construction costs for wood? Why do I not have enough goods when it says I have... Oh, I have one timber, 20 stone, 10 tools. Hmm shows the amount of goods it doesn't show the actual amount of timber oh get it uh good stored here vulnerable to weather damage and need to be moved to storehouses and build a storehouse I mean, this is a settler's camp then we got trade was for trading post livestock industry was bloomery we get field, farmhouse, pasture, versus residential, but we did get a tavern and a corpse pit. When? Uh, we have a granary. Okay, workers collect, store, distribute goods using the pantry. And this is a storehouse. So we probably need storage, right? I mean, this one is done, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost done. We're going to soon have this. The building has no assigned families. Okay, so how do I assign families to this? One, two, three. How do I get more families is the bigger question. 
might not have regional wealth is does it actually show my amount of money so that's for a settler cam would have to oh no wait we need to wait this one's already done okay then we need a family for hunting it means we have one unassigned family for construction right so one hunting family three logging families so so they would start logging like straight away he's, he's busy and right now we don't have the amount of timber to do anything and we need more timber to do things and then we need more families so new mercenary companies available i don't feel like i have the <laughs> money for that i mean there, there was like what was it this was residential so there was a talk about a oh i can make a marketplace okay that's interesting because it doesn't cost me anything mm, well it cost me one i mean right now we are suddenly having four timber so i can make more plots but i need families to get the wood over here they don't actually like they they're gonna take these goods here right we need a warehouse <laughs> wait we, we need a warehouse before we do anything else we need to have like um we need they automatically set up stalls on the marketplace to distribute the stored goods to the burgage plots and this is workers collecting store distribute goods using generic storage do i need a gra granary is only for food where a storehouse is for everything correct hopefully <laughs> let's pull one family off this so we essentially are able to put yeah okay that's generic storage i see we can have more of this and we need to build them we need to get them like like houses and yeah we need we need here what was it it was the plot corpse pit ah we had the settlers camp but it has construction costs of 250 and i don't have 250 <laughs> i am i am poor as hell what i want is these these it's a hitching post order another ox order a new horse oh that would give me another animal to carry the goods but do we actually need this as we have our logging cams finally do the logging come on lady yeah lo look at her chat she's at it the game does have a slow pace compared to some of the other building games i mean I, we could put it like fast forward to 12 right so that's obviously something to do family request more market areas for their stalls okay that's not a problem because the question was the market area and the market is for free which i understood that uh, was it industry no that was industry administration trade no not trade i'm stupid <laughs> what, what was it under it was gathering logistic was granary storehouse back station hitching post and a hitching post we need and we had the marketplace which costs us nothing and I would assume that it would be good to put a marketplace next to next to the residential area. Ryan. That's the marketplace. Demand a well supplied marketplace, the lifestyle of your town. Assigned families will set up stalls automatically as long as there's enough space in the market. Now, hover over specific categories to check your current supply and demand. Well, that means like they, they are literally the, the marketplace is just like people go there and just set up stalls. That's actually kind of cute. I like this. 
Okay, more speed. I always feel like if I give the game too much speed that we'll end up... Um, where do I put this now? That, that, that we'll end up with the game going too fast and I'm going to be missing out on things, right? Okay, we're producing meat. That's great. We are still only 10 families in, so I'm I'm still not sure how to make more families. Uh, we got we got finally a HUD. I mean, I, I know how to make more families, so don't get me wrong, Chad. I understood that. So what is it? Homeless will now move to the plot, and if approval is high enough, it might attract new families too. Ah, I see. So I need more plots to get more families going. Okay, there's a food stall. So they're, they're selling food, ladies and gentlemen. Soon they will be selling food. Perfection. Good. We get the logging camp, logging. Maybe maybe one would be enough. So we have more families. So one is here, one is there. And we, we need the other construction efforts just being done. So that's important. Uh, we're going to build this the marketplace, correct? That means we're going to build the road further in here. We're going to build the next plot of buildings all the way to the end of the road. Only like this, so I can put a road behind that and a triple. Go. These houses look gorgeous, right? Absolutely, absolutely look gorgeous. They're digging a well. Oh, you're so, you're so good. You did it. You made a well. I, I adore games where you can watch like the, the, the building like this, right? Absolutely beautiful. Okay, we're, we're, we get another family. Chat, look. <clears throat> we're suddenly at 12. Okay, that means I can put one more to the fooding so we can actually get more food and never run out of it. Um, we can put one more to logging. And at the marketplace, finally, things are being sold, ladies and gentlemen. She's selling only mead. But that's going to make people sad if they only get mead, correct? So we'll have to think about some other stuff in the long run, too. I mean, it says here, Farja hut of workers gather berries from nearby berry deposits, but I see like iron, clay, berry. The problem is if I if I now make a forager hut here, that that's not okay. That seems a bit far away from my actual city. I mean, could I could I put a forager hut here and they would just go out? that far I mean let's see let's let's build let's build one and just give it a try right okay we have 12 families though we have a triple plot so that's going to be enough for 10 um can I get to figure out can I, can I just destroy what is this shrine uh erase strawberry can I, can I get this one here no I can't get I was always checking if I could get rid of the trees but it seems like I can't actually get rid of the trees if I want to make another plod, it'll be right next to this plod. I could, but I could only make it. Oh, that's actually, I was expecting it. I could make it deeper, but they're, they're getting like just a bit smaller houses. It's going to be a good, that's going to be a good living area. Can you make a road through the forest? Uh, question answer. Mm, yeah, somewhat. Seems like. Uh, Captain Collins, uh, this is Aisha now. And we are surrounded by other people. Like, so you have here the, the next deposit, the, the next areas, the next areas. But th these are these are not just zones not taken. There's other settlers settlering too, right? As I understand. So now, now we got to think also, how do we get the stone? Stone was mining and that is a stone cutter camp. I feel like I could put the stone cutter camp right next to this. Right next to the warehouse might make sense. We're 12 families already, so that's kind of cool. 
Two families here. Two families here. I wonder... No, no, we still only have five families, but why did we get more? Ah, no, I'm, I'm stupid. I put, like, more people to work while not even understanding what I was doing. We didn't get... We didn't get... We got more members. Someone got a husband or a waifu. So it went up from 10 to 12 people. But we didn't get a bonus uh, family, essentially. Right? We still need to build more goodies. Did that need 10 stones to be built? Yeah, basically, we need to take care of uh, that we that we get soldiers too, that we build an army, create a new unit. Here, you can do this. So this is our army window, create a new unit. And you can form a militia, right? Uh, the thing is, we have like nothing to equip things with. We could hire mercenaries, but they cost too much, right? We, we don't have the money because our money is like 50. <clears throat> so we're kind of like screwed, I guess. If we get attacked, we're kind of like screwed. So this is our Eichenau, and there's Waldbrand, Zweiau, Goldhof, Hofstetten, Zefbitz, and Nuzlu. I think these two are taken by other players. Claim. Do you have any advice for a new Dan? Mm, mostly adapt, improvise, overcome. The, the usual, because that's, that's what you're going to do. 90% <laughs> of your parenting time. Um, also, don't stress yourself too much. We need more fuel. I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute idiot. I'm, I'm like content with what we're having while I completely forget uh, that we need also something for firewood, right? So yeah, like, like it's, it's literally like, you know, <laughs> take, it, take it one step at a time. Take it, take it relaxed because that, that's a lot what's going to be it's gonna be parenting about uh it's all about taking it slow and steady not overthinking too much doing things and reading reading books doesn't hurt and i i, I still do recommend parenting tiktok it sounds stupid but like there there's fantastic parenting advice on tiktok as well I mean, there's tons of parents out there that have good experiences and they're willing to uh, share that. Okay, wait a second. What is the backyard extension? Extensions add a back extra production functionality in the residential buildings. Oh. Oh. Oh, vegetable. Go oh. oh. That's amazing. Now I understand. Now I understand what those bonus plots do. So you can have them do... You can have them produce... A Ooh. That's great. Let, 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 them, let them grow veggies. Okay, we have these two grow veggies too. It cost me some money, but it's fine. Right? I'll have them get out some of the ve ve veggies there. Wait, now now we have... Oh, I got flicked away from my from my area. Uh, family members join a plot, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we, the, the, our our guys are getting waifus. We got fourteen. We got fourteen people now. Like f first, it was only two women and and a lot of guys, and now we're getting finally more ladies into the into the v valley. That's good. But we definitely need to get this one done here. Very high, highest priority, because we're running out of firewood. I accidentally noticed that. Uh, oops. <laughs> We're going to be running out of firewood at some point. Sorry. It wasn't my intention. I mean, the logging camp is logging. The forging camp is forging. Oh, this one needs to be next. I mean, the, this one is done soon, too. But yeah, if the if the logging camp here is not being... Uh, the forging camp is not being done, then where are you going with your... I want to say, where are you going with your oxen? I'm still wondering why they're <clears throat> not taking these goods. Right? I mean, they're slowly taking some of the goods with them, but oh, there, there it's done. Forge a hut done, and we're going to assign one family to it. Uh, allows Forge a hut to grow herbs. Interesting. And what we need before, before we face a disaster here, <laughs> we need to actually build a... Wait, I built a forest a hut. I needed to build a woodcutter's lodge. I'm an idiot. Built the wrong thingy. 
I mean, there needs to be a forester's hut there as well, right? But I accidentally built the wrong thingy. Because we'll need a forester's hut here in the long run too. Because else we're going to run out of uh, trees. Would be rather unfortunate. Oops. That's the wrong building. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're working on the granary. Don't worry. But we, <clears throat> we need to actually get the woodcutter's lodge done. Because we only have five firewood left. Right? And and the more the more thingies we build, they actually do need uh f firewood. Right? They're they're refueling. Oh, here. Finally, firewood. Okay, we're making firewood. We're doing this. We still need more families. We get a woodcutter slodge. Wait, why do I have another woodcutter slodge? Forge ahead. That's a Woodcutter Slodge? Wait, no. Huh? No, Woodcutter Slodge. Yeah. Why did I build two Woodcutter Slodges? Huh? Things don't make sense. What, what, what did I do? I built one in the beginning. I'm an idiot. Demolish that thing. Okay, so we actually did build a Woodcutter Slodge, and for some reason we built a Forager's Hut, because not Forester, we built a Forager. That was for the berries. Tony, you're an idiot. And that is a Forester now. Uh, can I make the forger's HUD? Can I make them go to the berry deposit? Hidden building tab, disconnect. Wait. You can do demolish, relocate, cost the building. People. The workplace. Mm. Limit work area. Uh huh. And I can take the hunting cam too. And I can go for a limited work area. And I can be like, go there. And they're gonna. Ah. Oh, hmm. Things are making sense finally. And they're essentially making fuel for us now. So that's good. We have one unassigned family. We got four out of four living spaces. We got 14. But we need more family. No population growth. Approval is low. Okay, how do I get approval up? When we get fuel, stall supply, we get that. So we get two things up, correct? But how do I get approval up? Do I have to build a... What was it called again? Do I have to build a church? We kind of like to build a. We could build a tavern, but we don't even have, you know, <laughs> we don't even have anything to tavern, so that would make sense. At this point, we need more more, more primaries. Come on, Come on. We like one construction family currently. Let's let's finish the house so we just have that house done. Resources stolen by nearby bandits. No. Why would you do that? I'm innocent. I mean, kind of innocent, but seriously. No, no stealing me mead. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, we get the, we get the woodcutter selling and we get the, the, the mead seller. Red middle is saying exposed goods. No, this is exposed goods. This is exposed goods. So we get essentially here. Goods that are just exposed in the open. Uh, we need to actually finish the pantry afterwards. Then we have homelessness. The people wait for more burgess cause a lot of approval. Okay, so yeah, we we need we need more we need more. Living space is done. I mean we got five families and we got four homes. Now we have five homes. Okay, now now to get more population you need to have enough burgage plots. And your approval needs to be over 50%. Okay, we can do this. The strong militia is paramount to survival and settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived. Okay, I can I can now make a militia. <clears throat> we got 20 spears and 20 shields. That means I can make a spear militia. 
You created your first militia unit. The male villagers will be evenly distributed between all militia units. They will try to find the required equipment. The weapons and shield depends on the unit type, while the maximum quality of body armor and helmet depends on villagers' residential level. After bringing all the necessary equipment home, that, that the unit recruits are marked as ready to rally. Okay. So they don't have enough spears, but we <clears throat> technically have our first militia running, Cha. Good. Now we need to raise the approval. Our public order is at 100%. Our approval is homelessness. Okay, so we, we, we need to figure out the rest of the homelessness. I mean, let me finish the pantry first. That's very high. After the very high, we get this one. When it would help is there's one, one, one. Yeah, it, it would help if we had like another... Look there, there, by the way, they're growing vegetables. You know what I could do? I could unassign the berry dude for now. We just have more builders going on because that's like my problem. Like we have this berry dude, correct? But we need to have more builders going on because we only have like two unassigned family for, for building currently. They don't seem to be building anything. I'm just blind. No construction is happening. We're taking just ages to get the stones to this. But how about you just finish that one too? Right? This needs like 10 stones to actually be done. I think they need to bring the stones from all the way back here. Yeah, that, that's why they're taking so long because they... Oh, that's elemental hazard. Everyone's going to die. Oh, we're 15. Shall we get another member of the, of the Ponyhop village has arisen? Checked out infection free zones. Or what we got we got underground water, fertility, flax, barley, rye, smell? Whatever smell means. I think smell is down to when you're when you're doing tanning and stuff like that, huh? Could actually be interesting. Okay, the pantry is done. We can store food here now. Or as soon as the granary done. La, la, la. Thank you, Fatsuki, for the 73 centuries of support. Welcome, everyone, to Mana Lords, trying to build our ultimate village here, as you can see, getting getting things off the ground. Construction finished is another bur burgage plot, so that's great. That means we could get another family now because we finally have no more homelessness. Everyone should be able to be homed. Right? Well, that, that's everything is done. Jeez, that was quick. When we get enough firewood, that's fantastic. So no one has to actually ever go. Um, I think like if I was smart, I get 22 timber, shiver me timbers. Uh, I can build a, I don't know, we need planks. So I need to build a, what's it called again? Mm, a saw pit too. Build the saw pit here right next to this. This is like my, my, my wood production industry currently. Right? So it's like we need to homelessness minus four, but how can we have homelessness minus four when everyone has a home now? Right? I mean, everyone has a home now. Can we still have homelessness? Can we get enough food? Actually, we're running out of food, so we need to put one family more into this and one family less into the woodcutter's lodge because we got more than enough. And we get the stonecutter's camp done, so we need stones. The pantry is not done because we're missing one stone. It's like the beta, this is the early access of Manor Lords, where you can finally try out the game if you're lucky enough to get a key. So thank you for the solo death to actually uh, provide us the key. 
it's very amazing so we can finally check out the game and share it with you guys and right now i can only say i'm feeling the 10 out of 10 personally okay we get one more stone right okay we have all the stones now we evacuate out of this we have more feud we have more kindling and we need to turn now we get the granaries also done good every can everything can be stored there our market and food variety. Woo! Plus one, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting there. We're, oh, we're going up. Chat, we're going up. Things are looking good. We're getting their things from the fuel stall. Well, this should be looking very good in the future. Uh, and if I could provide a church, because that's the thing, right? If I can now uh, have the saw pit working... waiting waiting guiding an ox i need to build an ox thingy right here i feel like because everyone is like always waiting for an ox we need to build our ox hitching post right next to this right now that so we get we get like one ox there in the middle of everything They romance medieval too much. Oh, honestly, I mean, medieval was just brutal. <laughs> medieval times were, were simply... Oh, 51%. Chad, we did it. Uh, we are now able to finally get more things. Abandoned camp was sighted. Where was abandoned camp sighted? Okay, abandoned camp, but that has nothing to do with us. Hopefully. It's far away from us still. Good, good. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't, I don't have it in me to fight off any bandits right now. I mean, I'm, I'm busy getting more families in, right? We get five families and we can accommodate eight though, right? Oh, wait, how do we, how do we drop down? We had market and food variety and now we just dropped down again. Robbery. Everything was looking good. Is our sawmill, sawmill is producing no no planks yet, but why is our sawmill not producing planks? Because they're coming from Mars, probably. The families procreate. Well, I do hope so. Because I'm, well, because I'm in dire need of having like happy civilians happening and boosting our town forward. And I'm not sure how the homelessness thingy is still doing like the homelessness thingy because technically we are we're good like there's no more tent here everyone has a house now we're all living like happy lives we would have a forester's hut to actually make new trees when I mean, we we about damn time I actually do need a forester's hut though uh, let's get the meat guy to be the forester and we still get things and we're at 52 percent that's good but I kind of want the freaking sawmill. Oh, yeah, we're getting chat. We're doing it. We get planks. So I need another 20, 15 planks. And I could make a church. I mean, church is usually the number one way. Generic storage is full. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, can I buy another ox? Yes, I'm going to order another ox. So we're going to get another one. Then we have two oxen to move things around. Because right now we kind of have like one ox and that's a bit bad. More oxen. Oh, but like, you, ladies and gentlemen, 55%. Give me new villagers. Bring him to me. Also, how do I tax people? Can I, can I start taxing people already? Special, specialize your region. Okay, what can I do? Doubles capacity of buried deposits. Policies. Wild animals breed twice as fast and, and cost. Okay, I'm, I cannot assign anything. Production. Development. What can I do here? Or in supplies. Firewood car. Trade logistics. I got one development point, so I can go for this. Basic armor making. Armorous workshop. Charcoal burning. Oh, that would be interesting. Sheep. I want a sheep. Or apples.
Huh. You know what we should do? We should do trapping because simple matter of fact, uh, we got we got this at rich animal deposit here close by, right? We should probably do trapping. It most likely makes sense to me right now. Okay, we almost got 20 planks. That's let's, let's do let's put two more in here. I think this is very important. Like you gotta you gotta learn that you have to like put more 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 dudes in there to essentially improve our uh advance permanent livestock assignment yep no actually not per, no, not a permanent livestock assignment i don't want this okay we get 20 that's perfection because now i can go and build a church okay first and foremost why is this church so ginormous do we put it here chad right next to the market i like that honestly i like that this is this is a good position to go for no, racers, stop stealing my... Stop stealing my stuff. Dear bandits, stop stealing my stuff. I need all of this, okay? We're really kind if you wouldn't just steal my things. Uh, how many berries do we have? We have nine berries. Okay, you get out of here. You go over there. And just look out that we have enough of everything going on. The woodcutter could cut, cut, stop cut, cutting wood, I guess. Four planks. I think they stole some of my planks, right? We don't actually have enough planks now. You can go out. And you can be the meat dude. We need to keep this up, you know? We need, we need to keep the food variety up or we're screwed. John. I mean, this one can come out for now and do foraging. And this one at least reforested the forest. So that's actually kind of brilliant. Jesus Christ, that went fast. Uh, you do more, some more wood cutting. We get the stones. We get that. People suffering from diseases may stop working. Access to herbs may speed up the recovery. Oh, how do I get herbs? I don't have herbs yet. Horse just had. Oops, berry. This is mining pit. Ox, water, church. I mean, we're charging up, right? And we can start building a field, but I don't, I don't have the families yet to do field. I mean, we're 17. Oh, no, we got a family. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, we got a family. We're six now. We are family. Sorry, I had a moment. Enables trading with a visiting traveling merchant trade post and trading post in other regions. I guess we need trading so we can make some money. Good. We're all the timber in the world currently, so that's nice. All the timber in the world is pretty rich. I'm going to get that church done. Because if, if I get the church done, we'll, we'll have like everything we're looking for. Okay, let's, let's put the church as the most important very high. What we need to think about is where do we build more living plots? I was thinking about extending a road here. If I extend a road here and then I could build another set of plots like right next to Build another set of plots. Yeah. Ta da! More wells? I think one well is enough currently. I mean, it says uh, drinking water for the plots, and no one has complained yet that they're starving. It says water access, water access, water access, water access, so they're happy. Um, should be enough. Right? Did the devs release a development roadmap? The def, not devs. It's def. As in one. 
Oh, we have more families now. I think we should permanently... We need permanently one of those. And permanently one of the woodcutter's lodge. So that's needed to actually keep everything up. Okay. And we need to get that church done. Let's get this church done. Did you stop like trying to build the trading post when you're all supposed to essentially building this one because it has like the highest priority in the world? When you need stones, but we have the stones, so that's the good thing. Put them all there. I mean, they're making veggies, by the way, Chad. This is actually really cool because I, I, I paid money for this, but they're making veggies now. We got two oxen. Can I hire another oxen? Upgrade to a small stable. Oh yeah, that's practical. If I upgrade this to a small stable, then then both oxen can actually live there. And we don't have to have the oxen live here anymore. Because for some reason, this is like the old hitching post, right? We don't need this. Bullshit. We never want to like, like live over here. Okay, we got food, we got fuel, we get veggies. That's actually working pretty well. So that was really nice. Oh, we get the heights and we're not doing anything with the heights. We're foresting. We're we're planking. We're not stoning. We don't have storehouse people assigned to essentially use the storehouse. This is something I should do if I get like another family. I'm gonna give advice. I mean, we're learning. So whatever you get for me, like feel free to, to give us some more. By the way, that woodcutter's lodge, I think we'll need to start reforesting here as well because he's essentially giving us all the kindling but we're not there yet oh we got another family ladies and gentlemen that's perfection so we got one more we can assign to work and i think we're gonna have them actually do construction yet do you stay in this era you do stay in this era there is no era advancing which which i'm very okay with oh no it's frosting <gasps> Crops? Which crops? We don't have crops. We, don't, we do not. We do not possess the thing you call crops. Our church is churching. Oh, do we need to assign one person to be the priest? Church bell. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we get a church now. We got sixty percent approval rating. Things are things are looking good. And everything is still in range, so so our families are happy. I mean I can house one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven families. Oh, yeah, eleven. It actually tells me. And we're currently at seven. That means we got a trading post too. But for a trading post, I need a horse, and I don't have enough wealth to order a horse, so oh they're gonna trade. How am I making money? Right? Can I trade my heights for money? I can trade my heights. So, no trade. Export. Yeah. I can make money with this. And I can make money with exporting flanks right now. Good. Because the heights we're getting from hunting anyways, right? I mean, our church do the churching, woodcutters woodcutting. When our fuel is high, so that's perfection. We can actually put the woodcutter out and then we can build a, um, a forester's hut. Because the woodcutter is currently woodcutting everything. But we need a forester right, right next to him here. That would essentially reforest what the woodcutter is woodcutting away, right? So that one needs to be built too. If, if the stones need stoning, the forest is foresting, the, the lumber is lumbering. Actually, we can go here and you can go there to make more planks. Good. we we'll would be making... We had like two, another family left over currently. He's sawing, foresting. 
carrying. That forest facade is being done. Perfection. And we can put the forest in there for, for the time being. Can we upgrade our houses? Can't upgrade our houses yet. Closing stall supply. We need a closing stall. How do we do that now? Can we... Ah, oh, penury. Yeah, I can make leather. And then I can make... I can make leather. But what do I do with leather? Leather and linen. Yeah, beta. Batterien für Mama. Ah, ja. Ich baue eine Stadt. Siehst du, das sind meine Menschen. Winter. Mhm, guck mal, hier ist überall Schnee. Mhm. Guck mal, was hier im Wald wohnt. Hirsche. Hast du gehört? Die machen Geräusche. Und hier wohnen die Leute. Und die haben sogar Gemüse. Oh, die haben kein Gemüse. Genau. <lacht> so. Ja. Okay, that was my tiny human people. Sorry. Do you see how 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 games how games excite children? It's always my, my favorite my favorite uh, hobby is to to show my children what what awesomeness like you know how how cool games actually look and how how nice they are. Oh, they have a hunting limit, so they don't actually hunt everything down. Hmm. I should probably put one one man in here to get things like in the generic storehouse, I'd say. Right? And one trading post guy. I mean the trading post guy is actually making money, Chad. Wow. Okay, so I can hoard after placing order, a merchant will come to town and deliver an animal. Probably, right? We should we should buy a horse so so our trading post is is more useful. When we're we're trading planks that's giving tons of money and we're we should stop exporting heights because I do need the heights. Mm. Technically export some stone too. Yeah, let's export that to make some money. Makes sense to me currently. With 70% approval rating, jeez. We're going places, Chan. When we got we got eleven families possible, so two two more families can live here. We have received reports of a band of raiders roaming nearby land. Should we track their steps? Track their movements. Prepare for the attack. Three hundred. Oh. Yeah, man, that army is on Mars, so we don't have to worry about that. When we do have how 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 strong is our militia? Our militia is currently 18 strong, so that's good, I guess. But we probably need more more families at this point. 
know, that stone deposit is ending at some point. Uh, we're not going to be selling off our stones. That's true. That's true. That makes sense. Stones, stones is, stones is uh, not an endless commodity. We need more mead. Why are you not producing more mead? Because you're sitting... Need more meat. We need more firewood. Uh, do we have another? When, when do we get another development point? That's the question. Okay, we, we over time we'll get more families, so that's good. Uh, we're we're making money, so that's decent as well. Uh, what do we have? Dyer's workshop. Berries into dyes. Want to build a tannery, right? But a tannery shouldn't be anywhere where. And the tannery can be right next to the woodcutting camp. Okay, let's finish building. Oh, wait. We have no one to build. Uh, Forster. We need, we need some. We need one more family. Oh, we're 10 families. Fantastic. I want to say we have no one to build. Well, that's great. Now, now we finally have. Okay, we're making planks. We're selling planks. The planks are making us money. We got we got plenty of wood still, shiver me timbers, so that's a good thing. We finally have someone who's actually gathering and has a has a stall for for things. She, what? She just took all the firewood. What the fuck was that? Listen, lady. What? <clears throat> plenty uncool. Uh, make a black from you have tools to protect against the bandit. Well, so we do we do have a militia of 20 man. That's already good Um, we can we can make steel the problem is in order to make steel, right? We have the iron deposit here So we essentially need to get the iron then we need to build the smithy uh, and so on It's like the the amount of things we got to do to somehow get this together is is quite quite something, right? Uh, so yeah, I don't, I don't think we're there yet to, to kind of just decide that we want to do this. And we got, we we're raiders near in 351 days, right? So, so raiders are near, but they're far enough away. We'll see if we can counter them or if this is going to be horrible. I mean, we can make a heart save now. Here, this is a heart save, right? If things turn turn south, then we, we know that stuff's not popping the way we want to. We need a, one more family. How do I get one more family? I wanted to build closing stalls. So we have our tannery done. Where's the where did I build the tannery? Done. We need someone to tannery around. But again, what does leather use me if I don't have any leather working? Because I have a tannery, correct? But Weaver's workshop. Right, I, I don't have. There's a farmhouse, windmill, oven. That's a well, marketplace, tavern, and corpse bin. We have a hitching post, we have mining. But the industry, we could train. I mean, is, is the leather like is the leather equal to closing essentially? Right? La, 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 for rate, thank you for the 94 centuries of support. For rate, very good to see you there. Hope you're doing plenty well. We need, definitely need more storage space, lads. I mean, there, there's no there's no question about that. But we could need another oxen. I feel like we got, we got like, uh, stable space is two out of two. Wait, two out of two highs is taken, right? So we would need another oxen. Most likely. Another small stable could, could we build. 
So we have like more more things to pull stuff around. No, actually, no, no two oxygen should be enough. Be nice. Okay, hunting him is hunting. Forest out is foresting. That is wood cutting. So everything is working. Here you can reforest things. I mean you're still doing things. You're tanning. Okay, we, we got we got leather, Chan. But is leather equals to clothing stall supply? So that's the that's the question, correct? Uh, here closing stall yes it's working aha but in order for that to work i would need to assign two people to that right because one needs to be essentially making the hides and one needs to have the closing stall so that would be everything then everything then done and we get the closing stall and the closing stall supply should be for that what's the opinion about this game i mean right now it's just uh very fun slower pace than anno for example but like it's it's a nice progression to see the your your city grow step by step by step um in a in a very natural normal way it's fun i wonder where i want to extend <clears throat> more houses though i think i could build a road up here To consider building three more plots. Ta -da. Boom. Now it's actually that looks like a good house block here right now. Probably everything's gonna burn down at some point. It always burns down. So we can put them out there. Oh no, actually that was good. Okay, closing stall, closing stall, foot stall, foot stall, firewood stall. Oh, we got one more family. That's that's eleven families. Fuck yeah. That means I got saw pit. We need the lumbering. We got the trading going on. We have, we're at actually fifty gold. Um, I can put the. Hunting is at yeah. Hunting is at all time high, so I can put one down. Reforestation. Okay, w one here, two there, one there, one, one. No, actually, we need to keep the two hunters, so I constantly have a supply on um, hides. So I'm not having a supply on hides. Okay, but what does this mean here? Can I upgrade this building? Oh, I can upgrade this building. Okay, what does it do now? So, uh, level two, Burgage Plots generates one regional wealth. Per family per month. Oh. Well, sure. Give her me timbers. That's uh, fantastic. But I mean, especially how we're at 75 approval, we're at 76 approval rating. If we now build more living spaces, we don't have anyone for construction for the main sideways. Um, I need you out of here. We need someone for construction. You can actually construct something. Uh, you come out of the forest hut. You're constructing too. Wood cutting. How's the uh, pony farm doing? We're, we're going very well. Okay, so we're getting this bigger. But we need essentially like like here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So now they need tavern church level two. Damn. We got we got three more. We get another family, Chad. Okay, so wait, logging camp, tannery, the forester's hut need one. Uh, we get the trading post, the stones, we don't need stones right now. We actually need one back in here. Boop. 
and with the forester's hut has nothing that is good that is good that is doing the market stall Mhm. Mm okay we got 13 families possible and we get 12. oh do we have 14 in total wait when two level two families Level two families useless because they don't do what level one families do, you know. <laughs> Always my question. Wait, just make just making sure these are not these are not useless, you know. But I kind of feel like I need to keep up with the uh, with the uh, production of these. Oh, by the way, I can use my money now, which is at seventy four, to hire mercenaries soon. Uh, but I could also use my money to actually make some more. So we can do here construct backyard. We can make a goat shed to produce more heights. And I think that's actually useful because now the lats are having goats in their backyard. We're producing more heights because we're actually running out of heights, right? So we're gonna do more. We're gonna do two goat productions in the backyard. Ta-da! That's how you do it. Fleet model, good to see you there. Let's fucking go. Pleasure. See, you understand there how, how things are going at this point. Like you, you can you just add bonus production to this, and that, that makes everything better. Okay, 14 families are available. We got another family moving in. F fantastic. But where do I build the next? I, I kind of like, I don't know if I can like, extend, like if there's a way to show how far the reach of this building is, right? Because <clears throat> I, I'm scared of building like another plot of buildings here and then they're going to be out of range of the marketplace and whatsoever, right? At the same time, I don't like, I mean, I could probably build another plot in this direction here. Another triple to be possible, right? Hmm. Three plots down, a little more down. You're touching the marketplace. <laughs> We're gonna get the marketplace filled at some point. Hey, okay, again, one, 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 one. That's crazy when you finally have like enough to actually equip everything. So the granary, this, the forces hut doesn't have one. That one has one, one. Okay, so everyone has, everyone is full. It's green. Damn. Did we lose a family? No, we're 13 the whole time, right? Yeah, we're 13 the whole time. Okay, there's two upgraded buildings. That's kind of nice. We're making veggies and goats, so we're kind of getting more... Um, we're getting more heights than ever. Actually, you know what? I think I should make another goat farm here. So, so more goat farm for more leather. Get all the goat farms in the world. So, like, tiny goats, Chad. Then they're producing... They're just producing leather in the side. This is really, really cool. I like that. Okay, we got a bunch of families. Perfection. Uh, we could make someone create wood, but no, before we create wood now, we have another 271 days. Mm. So should we should we have food with berries and mead? So the berries are not running out, I guess. They're growing. Perfect. The oh the animal deposit is running out. That's bad. We need another source of food, I guess. Correct. But before I build another source of food, should we not start mining? Oh, we need the iron deposit. We need the iron deposit. Then we need to build the... The iron deposit leads to a bloomery. Oh, where do I build this? I kind of don't want to keep like building in this direction. I want to keep the production like assigned to this area. So we're going to build a road. How about I can't like ruin this area? We could probably start building it down here. Start with this. 
I can build a bloomery. And then I could build a smithy, but that, that doesn't make weapons. I need weapons. I can just make a smithy for tools. Whatever tools do, right? But I guess I could buy weapons. Huh? It's military. So for my, I need more spears so I could, ah, I need a trade route. Okay. Since it's a mayor trade, a trade route is required. And after paying to establish a trade route, I need to pay 42 to actually establish a trade route. Wow. Okay. That's bad. You know what I would need? I would need another point because then I can get here the basic armor making and then I can make my own armor. Screw that. <laughs> Now I can make my own armor. Did I not? And I just here new upgrade armors workshop, right? But where is the armors workshop? My line. Boomery, maybe? Furnace? No? It's an upgrade. Good point. Good point. I don't know. That's very well put. Could be an upgrade. Okay, we get another family surplus, guys. We can house 17 families. And we currently have that. I'm not sure if I want to upgrade like more houses, if that's useful. I mean, more houses means more money though, right? So, uh, I don't know if there's a, like a downside to literally upgrade a house. We need more timber. So we need double timber assignment at this point. Maybe it's done. Bloomery's done. Okay, wait. Kindling is working, forest is not working, that is working, that is working. Uh, food stalls are food stalling. Another family joined, perfect. We have the mining pit, so that is mining. Then we have the bloomery, we can bloomery. And this one is a smithy, and it can only do smithy right now. Smithy. Okay, that would be everyone working. Officially, everyone working now. We get every single thing happy, but what we need is more more spears and more shields. For more spears and more shields, we need more money. And we're not exporting anything. Any Why are we not exporting anything? Because we don't have enough timber. I'm a bod. We can't export anything. Because how can I export leather? How much leather do I have? Dude. No! Why does leather require trade that would give me so much money? Friggity frig. I need more money. That's another family. That's great. I think we should generally upgrade things, right? I feel like it was a mistake that I ran out of planks. That was really stupid for some reason. However, I managed to actually run, run out of wooden storage. Plus 20 money. That's great. So right now, I want all the money. Like, I need all the money to essentially get trade routes. Okay, we are making tools. Whatever tools are used for, because that's the thing too. We now have tool. Can I sell tools? Okay, we have a lot of iron ore. We're making a lot of iron, and we're using we're using firewood for that. Oh. Okay, one more family needs to be forestering. We got forester hut, forester cutting. Weaponsmith and armor is an upgrade for the houses. Uh, oh, armor's workshop. Yep. So we can now, instead of veggie garden, do an armor's workshop. Uh, 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 uh. So what we need to do is we need to upgrade this one here to a level two. And there's family living in there. Uh, we, by the way, have 17 families in 17 spaces, so we actually need to build already more again. Jesus. <laughs> it's like the, the demand is insane for, for like, the, the, this this city is growing like crazy. Okay, a triple again. 
We're going to only make a, a small space for you, though. So I don't want... Oh, that's a bit too small. Shitty shit. Yeah, without a backyard. But these are without a backyard. So triple. Then I can essentially, like, assign another road to, to make, like, um... Another triple on the other side. So that's kind of like the, the plan here. Just then I can make another font here on this side. Good. Make the road. And I didn't want the tenery to be next to that, so that's a mistake because the tenery stings, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, if I upgrade this building here right now, then you're right. Then we can make an armorous workshop there. But I'm still not sure what tools are good for and if I can trade tools. That's obviously the question. But we're making money like crazy. So what I could do now with the money is we could, we could establish another trade route and we could start selling leather to make more money. It's like the question is that makes sense we have 45 leather i could establish a trade route and then we could essentially make more money uh in the short amount of time i think it might be better to establish trade export and we always want to keep like 20 for ourselves right does that make sense current surplus and desired is 20. we always want to keep 20 for ourselves we always want to keep 30, about uh, 25 or so, right? 25, 25 or so. I think that makes sense, correct? Does, does that make sense? Am I making sense? Okay, that's good. Our happiness is 85, so that's good. Uh, this one's getting upgraded because then as soon as this one is upgraded, we can make an armorous workshop out of this. Uh, I think we need a second forester because these are like, actually they're foresting faster than we're making things, right? I mean, the good thing is we're finally making heights like crazy. So our goats are working. Our our goat goat workshops are, are making sense. Uh, I'm not sure if we want to upgrade this to even more goats. Chan? I think we need more goats. But I want to make I don't want to upgrade this one here to a I also upgrade to a level two. And more families. We have no unassigned families for working. Yeah, friggity freak. Hey, we didn't check. Can we trade uh, tools? Commodities, cloaks, to tools. We can trade tools. They sell for six too. I mean, the, the question is, what do we need tools for otherwise? Because right now I'm producing tools and we don't actually need them. So it would make sense to uh, open up a trade route for tools. Establish, sell them. And now look at the money I got. I got 194 money, Chad. I can make a trade route for spears. And then I can essentially buy myself. Here's now. Trade, import. And we want just, we want to import currently. 16 more spears. Ten. It's going to be expensive and we need large shields too, but for that we need more money. Okay, this is this is looking good, I guess. Our food is fooding, our berries are burying, our market stall is marketing, our animal deposit is depositing. Our whole settlement is growing like crazy, so that makes me happy. We need another forest, as I told you. The smithy is smithing. The trade is trading. I mean, do you think I make more money if I put another person into the trading post? That's a good question. But then I have no, no, no people anymore for. Okay, I can think I can take one away from here. Okay, now we have this upgraded chat and I can make an armor's workshop. Because what's now going to start that this is actually making armor for us. So our troops are being equipped more. 
and that would be fantastic the game is not online no the game is offline you're playing for yourself versus the computer and everything you can choose varying difficulties and i have to say that <clears throat> since i'm like i mean it's my first time right this i'm new to this but it's like i feel like my progress is good uh definitely did some some like you know could have could have handled a few things better um people are happy in general but they need a tavern or they want a tavern at some point right i need to slowly upgrade all my buildings because my buildings give me money when they're upgraded more more buildings more money more better let's upgrade this all i mean i'm not sure if my happiness is going to go down at some point if i have too many level two families and not enough level one families so this could be something interesting we should do we are we still selling hides i think we're still no we're still selling leather we're not selling we don't have enough heights so we need to make more goats here fuck i don't have enough wealth to make more goats so ladies and gentlemen we can make armor now so this this is now an artisan's workshop that is at the same time producing armor as far as i see production resource needed for crafting and it's it's making it's making armor that's great and another family and I'll probably make another armorous workshop out of this. Not sure if I should. Uh, I guess my money is being eaten right now by buying spears. The spears cost like 17 per. And that's expensive. But I'm selling tools. I should I should be making top-notch money, right? Oh no, export. Shit, I didn't set it to export. I'm an idiot. I'm like wondering why why are we not making top-notch money? Because we we're not. We didn't set it to make top-notch money. Now, now we're, we're cooking. Okay. Our troops are <clears throat> having more spears. So we bought those. That's fantastic. You don't have a tavern. Yeah, my moral is 80, but it's actually sinking because we're getting more level two and commons. And they obviously want the tavern supply. So we start we need to start thinking about a tavern and shit i was hoping i could actually put it right here oh i wanted the tavern right there it would have been perfect like this would this would be brilliant but the stupid i wanted the tavern right there okay the tavern here would make sense still right can i make the tavern here chad is that okay are we are we all happy with this That's the well here that's preventing the tavern from being taverned. Okay, but for the tavern, we need... That's the hard part. For the tavern, we need a field to grow crops, right? In order to make... Uh, what are we making? We need to make malt, right? Workers use barley to produce malt. Okay, so where is uh, barley fertility? I think light yellow is good, correct? The light yellow would mean that I'd have to build a... barley fields and mana lords need to be very large to be effective but also take long to plow by hand for a starting village try a field size of about one morgan what does that mean field size. Oh, well, that's not big Okay, wait, let's try again. Peace. Okay. That's a farm? Holy.
Okay. I love it. Crop type barley. Do I not need to assign anyone to this? Good priority. Hi. Do I not need to put like a farmhouse? Farmhouse. Used to employ families on the. Oh, yeah. Why is the. Why are you so big? This is, this is not what I wanted. I wanted a ginormous farmhouse. Okay, things are making sense, so finally. But I'm still confusion. Okay, you need to build a pa pasture and then the... Okay, no, okay. Yeah, I understand. Okay, and then we need to build a construction, uh, construction, and we need to build a, uh, a malt house. And the malt house is supposed to be... Edition. Where's the malt house, so... You know what the malt house can be? Yep, that's actually good. Good. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. This is, this is good. This is exactly what I wanted. Okay, we got two, we got two traders now here for more money, because I need more money. I kind of feel like we're not getting more money. Uh, we're making the tools. We're making this. We get this. Our food is fooding. Our fuel is fueling. Our timber is low, so we need more timber. Am I just literally out of trees? Is that the problem? Why our timber is not timbering and uh, the forests are hot? Do, do I need two forests hot to live up with the demand of this one? Because that's how it feels right now. Right? But also that everything just costs timber and that's why it's so expensive. Right? Okay, we're at 86 happiness again. I need more families for construction. It's like the crazy part. Like we just need more families for construction. Everybody should, I should stop exporting saw, sawmill stuff. No, this, this one is not anyways giving us money. So let's, let's stop trading planks. <clears throat> let's stop trading planks. And we keep trading leather because leather, leather, we just have a healthy surplus. So that's working. Um, we're still exporting full train. Full train means Wait until the desired surplus is reached. Export. Export. No, no, export. Okay. There's no desired surplus. Just sell them. Like there's crazy, right? And we're we're still trying to get spears. Spears are so expensive. No one is working in the tavern. Uh, no one is working in the tavern because we have nothing to work in the tavern with. So we need the farmhouse done first, right? And then the farmers need to start farming. So we, we want barley because we need barley, right? But we need essentially a family of farmers to farm for us. Then we need a f then, then we need people to take what's coming from the farm. And that's going to take a while because you notice like this is this is literally. Yeah. Right. This is not not done by day. Jamaican, can get to see there. We need more families. We have 22 families. Shit. <laughs> I can't keep up with <clears throat> the growth of the town. Okay, we're going to continue back here. Okay, Chad. Continue back here. I'm going to build another three houses that have... Three houses that have the potential to put some things in the back. We'll pull a road in between. Good. And build another three houses that have a. Be another six families. 
it's kind of like how, how this is like going crazy right this is this is going like off the charts so fast i mean you gotta still keep up with all the demands right we gotta get everything going we get the tools we're gonna we're selling the tools we're making money uh we need more hides i feel like because we have leather but we have no hides so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make this a goat farm and this a goat farm at this point and this a goat farm too so we get triple goat farm but we're also making us armor though so this armor production here is i hope he's actually doing it we have made two armor we have four, four armors in storage that means that slowly our dudes are actually getting armored up now we just need to make what else can i make this into Publish workshop crossbows tailor Amazons. Okay, we could do that. Because we need to turn these more into useful... Like, we need these, actually, the bonus plots back there. Because else it won't be working. 66 families. Jeez. Okay, are we slowly making... Are we slowly making field thingies? Dude, I wonder how long it takes until our field is going to be harvestable probably gonna take a while the problem is we need a lot of money right now so our troops are truly done because again we're missing we're missing shields fuck we need to start buying shields too <laughs> this is so expensive we need to start buying shields uh large shields but i i can't but okay let's stop the import of this no train we need more money we could start selling iron ore Export and we want to keep 20. Yeah. Nah, but iron, iron is fuck. Iron, no, we can't trade iron because that's not unlimited. Right? Trade for planks again. Keep 20, keep 30. <sighs> Need to make more money. Everyone gets one. Henry has one. Farmhouse. Malt house gets one too. Henry doesn't need people. Stone camp doesn't need people. Again, this is this is like all working the way as intended. We're keeping up with our oh, we don't have enough berries. We need another berry gatherer. Oh, we can upgrade the berry gatherer chat to also add a herb garden. That's great because the herb garden would mean that we can do herbs. But that gives us more food. But we need to start making. We need to start making livestock, chat. We need to start coming up with ideas to. I mean, first we need to upgrade these to level two at some point, right? They're not close to a fuel stall. We get the veggie garden for bonus food. We get all this for bonus leather. We need more food. Okay, so this one could be a tailor's workshop, and he would production of clothes and cloaks and gambazons. But what do you need for gambazons? Enables production of. Oh, this is how I make. Ah, this is how I make spears. Hmm. The first Gambazons and these dudes are making, but we need to upgrade this to level two first. But why is this not level two? I need to make shields. If I could make shields, that would be fantastic too. Okay, we, need, we need more buildings. Thank you for the 40 months mills. Thank you for the three. Did we get an early access key? We did. We did. And we're trying to somehow keep up with the demands of the overall population, but Jesus, it's, it's it's harsh. I mean, like this is this is essentially we're not even close to harvesting right now. So having the families in the malt house and the tavern is kind of useless. Um stop it is sawing, so that makes sense. Forced is forcing. With the smithing. Uh gunnery's gun gonna re ring. Can I extend the marketplace? 
to get closer. Because again, these are not having food supply as they, they, they don't have fuel closing because they're just too far away or what's the problem? I don't understand where, where their issue is. It's like a distance issue. We need more food supply. We don't have a variety of food. We only have veggies. We don't have berries because it's winter too, which is a problem. We're not getting enough berries. Berries are empty. Oh. That's my problem. We don't have a variety of food. That has been my issue the whole time. We have meat, meat, meat. Do we have another? Yes, we can. No shit. Apples take too long. Sheep? But that sheep is just another mead. Uh... I need more heavy plow. I need the plow to to get more here at plowing. And then we need to add another oxen stall to get more oxen. Here, pitching post. Need your own hitching post here, right there. Good job. Yeah, I just noticed we don't actually have the food variety. I'm, I'm stupid. How do I get more food now if my berries are out and I only have some veggies? E. I mean, I could probably build more veggie stalls here. Right? But that wasn't the plan. Then want to build them into more veggie stalls. What other does this have to offer? And right now my only solution is making bread, I guess. Correct? If I could... I have a field for crops and I could make a... A windmill. Wait, let me extend the road past the farmhouse. Next here too. Okay. We're gonna build a windmill. And we build a communal oven. Oven doesn't have to be. Who doesn't like the smell of freshly baked bread, Chad? Well, the communal oven would go here, right? I mean, we have 323 money. That's good because I can go for the army and I could create new units. I could hire mercenaries, but I could get the uh, new to the region. I could get the. The Battle Brothers, Spearmen and Mercenaries. No, I need archers. Okay, I would hire... How do I hire you? Can I not hire you? I mean, I'm trying to hire them. Treasury funds insufficient, but I have... Regional wealth. I have 323. Why do I not have treasury funds? How do I... How do I put this into the treasury then? I'm confusion. Uh, but that means I need. Can I buy another horse for this to make it better? And then I could make a shield. No, wait. Before I make a shield round. I wanted to make another... Double. Okay. 24 families. We need more building families. And we don't need two in the forge so hot right now. That's useless. Okay. So we need to this upgrade. We need things upgraded to level two. 
to essentially be able to do things. But we can't upgrade things to level 2. Because right now, we are not having things happening, right? We have three families that are that just there to build things. I mean, my crops are currently not cropping because... Uh, yeah. I mean, we're, we're waiting, right? I mean, the field is currently what? Sowing progress, sowing progress, crop growth. Like, it's... It's winter! Nothing is happening because it's winter. Okay, we need to upgrade the small stable. And upgrade the small stable. If this one upgraded, so we do need we do need now livestock for this one, right? But we don't have livestock yet, so we need more livestock. We get a windmill, but we can't windmill because we don't have anything. And I'm just I'm just building stuff because I can, mainly, right? <laughs> We need to stop the export of tools because I want to keep some tools, I guess. I actually we need to stop making tools. That's important. And then we need to stop trading tools. No train. I mean, we are 57 days away from an attack. Uh, can I change the armors? I can't change this to anything. Okay, we're making gambazons out of linen. I don't have linen. Oh, sh fine. I can upgrade this to level two. I can destroy the goat chan. And I can upgrade this, and upgrade this, and I can upgrade this. I can destroy. Mm. I don't need shoes. I need to be able to make my own spears, but I need the veggies to make my own veggies. So, problem. Upgrade these to level two. You know what? Meanwhile, we'll just get the veggies from this one here. It makes no sense to not have them do veggies, essentially, right? So rather get more food <clears throat> so I can upgrade things further. Right? For Gizo, thank you for the 33 centuries of support. Is this like Anno a different and better? I like this more because like due to due to me having to assign the families and everything. It's like kind of nice in that regard to to be forced to like like assign anyone properly to to actually do their work right they, they won't do work alone like you just gotta uh get things rolling and that is a lot of fun in my eyes to to get things in that direction okay we need to get a pasture john we need to get sheep because we need to get linen i guess i get linen from sheep correct No, we get wool, but how do I make? <clears throat> wait, 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 wait a second. A uh, wool to wool to produce yarn and flax to produce linen. Shit, I need linen. I need flax. That means I need a complete new field. Wait, can can they produce? Can they can they work on multiple fields? Wait a second, Jack. Can they work on multiple fields? So if I'm looking now for flax for till. Break. Flax fertility is ass everywhere. If I wanted flax fertility, I'd have to make a ginormous field back here. And then I would have to build a farmhouse. back here and they would have to get their own ox thingy to and they would have to buy some oxen in six days right You're about to run out of timber. How, how am I about to run out of timber? Because I didn't plant enough trees. Oh, 
Are we still selling? Okay, no more plank treading. Only thing we're treading is leather. And that's richness. We're about to run out of. Wait, how are we about to run out of food? About to run out of food. Because we're not having enough mead. So our own source of meat is this one, and we're not having enough, even though it's a rich deposit. Ah, I need more mead. Can I butcher can I butcher sheep for mead? And we're making veggies, so hopefully we're fine. <laughs> complications, complications, complications. We have a field, and that field needs to be flax. Okay, and we need to build that farmhouse. The iron deposit is still iron depositing, so that's a 3,000. We're making enough iron. Still not saying iron, though. F that family's moving in. That's great. And we can house 29 families, correct? And we get 20. We get, we get a lot, so that's great. The problem is, I kind of forget this part where I could always house more families, right? But we're out of food. Fuck, we need to trade food. We need, we need to trade food. We need to trade some... Import. We need to trade some Bren. This is so expensive. This is so expensive. I don't like this. Not happy. Put a trader back in. We need to buy Oct. Thank you very much. Get some more livestock. Shit is being built too. Finally. There were me timbers. All right, like, you know, I almost let my let my people die. Oops. I don't forget that part where where they die if I don't actually make sure that I get more because also the vegetables that they're growing doesn't work because well guess what Chad vegetables don't grow in winter so instead of veggies I should have done chickens right veggies I should have done chickens because chickens work all year long I'm a bun actually produce eggs so we get food right <clears throat> Donis, we're not gonna all die that's a good thing we're fine we're finally not owing to go okay so this one is upgraded by the way uh no this one is not upgraded yet this one still needs linen to make gambazons and for linen we needed what oh we needed flax and we're not getting flax because of winter can winter just stop seriously can can winter just stop? And my whole whole plan was like about the whole barley thingy, and then I almost like starved my goddamn village because, well, guess what? Barley. Uh, generic storage is actually full. How is generic storage full? We need another warehouse. I mean, everything is actually full. That's crazy. Uh, I need to build another residential logistics. We need to build another storehouse. Pack station. Use the building to set up a barter connection, allowing you to send and receive goods between this and another region in your command. Oh, well, I could establish another raid a second chat. I am a great, like, I, I have this thought, but why have I not established another region yet? This one has another iron deposit. And this one has another animal ridge. Band oh, this has a bandit camp. Oops. This one doesn't have a bandit camp and has clay, right? I actually haven't tapped into my clay deposit yet. Whatever I want to do with clay, but clay does seem like just tradable. And probably establishing something in winter is not smart, so I'll wait, but I could just establish another another city, right? 
I'm barely able to handle my one city. Let's be fair about that. Wait, where's my money? Where'd my money go? I had so much money. What I trade for? I'm not trading anything currently, right? What I could trade for is linen. Import five linen. Oh no, I imported food. That's where my money went. <laughs> I remember I imported food and that was expensive. Can we stop importing things now? I mean, we're about to not die straight away. So that's a good thing, I guess. We're not about to die. Mm. Plow. Upgrade. Can we get all the axe in the world, Chan? Destroy. Chickens. Screw veggies. Chickens, Chad. Chickens are the new rave. Here, we're, we're making we're making eggs. So that will that will keep us healthy. Hopefully the oh god we're out of we're out of food again. No the the acts are keeping us afloat, ladies and gentlemen. I managed to solve the shortage of food by by making more. I mean having more forages is useless obviously. Having more woodcutters, I mean we have enough fuel that that's useless as well. I mean we could just plant more trees, plant more trees. I mean the stone deposit is almost empty, so that's that. Um. Didn't I want to... Oh, summer, summer is coming. Chad, summer is coming. Finally. Wait, the farmhouse is still not done. How's the farmhouse not done yet? We're supposed to give this high priority to finish the farmhouse. When, when, when winter is over, we can straight up build things. Okay, one. Family assigned. Two family assigned. Can I still butcher animals? I mean, see what what can I what can I do here? I could make bakery, produce bread. Oh, I could produce bread here, but why would I produce bread in the building when I can make enabled production of wooden parts and shields? Wait, no, I can make shields the whole time. Goodbye, goats. I need this. Shields are being made out of wood. Why am I down to 16 money? What happened? I'm not trading any food anymore. I'm selling planks again. I'm importing linen. Jeez, that was expensive. Holy. The importing of linen was expensive because I wanted to make gambazons. So why did I import linen? Because this can make gambazons now, and gambazons are needed to fully equip our dudes. So we actually have, like, fully equipped soldiers. Right? Okay, so finally we have four families who are trying to get the barley roll in. Right? And they're supposed to actually take our animals, so they have oxen. These ones are trying to do flax. Hopefully they're trying to do flax so we get our own linen. We don't have to ever do this again. Um, we're finally we're finally growing back this, right? Berries are back in business. Means one of these guys can go out. They're back in business. Four families are. Family, we need we need one windmill family. But for a windmill family, I need a need more trees this time. Mining family, no, the the family can be here. We don't need any mining family. Okay, we get a milling family. We get one malt house family, and we get one baking family. Okay. And I, I'm loath to. We're running out of food again. How are we running out of food again? We we should be having animals. The hunters should be hunting. 
Wait, no. Something burnt down. Wait, how is this burning down? Why is this all burning down? We're getting raided. Wait, no, we're getting raided. Yes, that's true. Where's my... Rally my troops. Right, I missed the message. Of our troops? It was, it was, we're being... I, I, I missed, I missed the messages. No! We have our troops here now. But where are the raiders? Are the raiders still raiding? Or that's over, right? I, I missed the message that we're being attacked. So how do I derally these now? Yeah, we were getting raided and I was actually ready for that raid the whole time. But then we kind of, we kind of missed out on that. <laughs> can I, can I reload that safe from, from just 10 minutes ago where I missed the Raiders? Yeah, here, load that one. Wait, we, we just missed the Raiders there. We can't have this. Cause we were just preparing the whole time for the eventuality. Okay. So we have the, we were back to winter. Our hunting hut go in with everything we went over to the chicken coops right we we said goodbye to all the veggies we chicken cooped it fully up for all of these well, this was not meant to be okay. not enough wealth we had the food we were abandoning the uh, we were Trading planks again, export. We were not buying food, no trade, no trade. We're stopping the linen import. We're getting some. Prepare for the attack, the raiders are near. We we're obviously wondering like we we get back into into shape and then things were hitting the fan right so the raiders are coming soon uh, winter was stopping I and mean, one family needs to go out there that needs to go there we need to export things as i said again we need to get upgrade At level two needed to start with shield. My plan. And this was was finally doing Amazons because we had that. And we need another storehouse. I remember. We need to build another storehouse. Uh, With this bakery the mill was milling but there's no one in there so that makes no sense okay now let me save the game bandit attack right yeah i was completely missing i i guess you could probably make this a bigger one because this is really like out of out of sight right guy text thank you for the 11 months by the way completely missed that reguizo again thank you for the 16. cheers everyone for being here how do you get early access? Uh, I was getting, um, I, I get like um, streamer access. Enemy unit has been spotted. So this is like the, I think these are the raiders coming, right? To raid my base. 
look out for that. I mean, winter was now going slowly away, correct? Raiders near. I mean, Raiders near is here, right? Or am I missing something else? Is that, that one near means? Closer. I mean, our 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 twenty units are at least having at this point. They're having. They need more shields. Didn't I upgrade the one dude to start making shields? Huh? He was making gambesons. He was making armor. Didn't I upgrade one to make shields? I hear reduction large shields not small shields and he's essentially turning planks into shields okay so finally a use for planks that means we're not allowed to trade planks anymore because we need them we're still trading leather that doesn't yield as much money currently We get rid of some of the goats. Sell some stone as we don't need much stone. I'm thinking I would be fine with selling some stone. Stone. Export. Oh, that really doesn't give us much. Not even worth it. Mm. And iron ore would give us some. We, we have a lot of iron ore there, so I can export and keep always 20. Because we have like three, we have like like a lot of iron ore currently. We could up the production. We get four in there, so they slowly start doing things. We need farmhouses there. Okay, where can I pull some workers out? Out of this. We get that. The bandits are... The raiders are close. Okay, chat. Now we need to... All in the army. Uh, where, how do I rally them? Rally them? Right here? How much of you depends on many factors. Stances, moral fatigue. So we got, we got 20 dudes. That we won to default stands with no bonus and no penalties. Then your ground here right now. Yeah, we get our lads equipped with spears, and these guys. Then your ground. Uh. Are we better? The aggressive. We killed one. Did we kill one? I think we killed one shot. Yeah, we're winning. They're, they have just clubs with shields, spears, gambesons. 14. We're slaughtering them. Yes, get shit on. Stupid, stupid bandits. You don't know who you're dealing with. With the United Militia of the Pony Half. Yeah, we're, 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 we're stu giga studs. Me mega studs. Ultra, ultra, ultra lads. Like, like you're fighting, you're fighting BDE, Chan. Okay. 
Absolute, absolute big dig energy there. Okay, slayers, literal slayers. Just saying. God, goddamn joke. Yeah, we 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 routed him. We're gonna lose a single one, Chan. Okay. Disband unit. Okay, we can go back to work. We're better. We, we, we winners. Chat winners. See, all my preparation turned out to be good. Ha! We we choose we choose the right things to to make like to make shields, to make armor, to get things running, right? I mean now our our unit is still missing some shields to essentially be fully equipped. Uh, we get the armor. I think we get the gambas. We didn't actually need gambas. Do we need gambasons ever for them? Equipment missing. Yeah, we need some spears. So one thing is we need to turn one more building into a spear building. So this one would be upgraded to be level four. But in order to be level four, we need more variety of food, right? Because our food variety is that goddamn low. I mean, where's our chicken coops? Why are our chicken coops not making more eggs? All right, this one needs to be we need veggies. We need eggs. We need everything. So that's finally good. We get goats. Like these level two buildings to actually start making. Spears. Screw the goats. Ryan. Ah, uh, Dizzy, hope you're crushing. I mean, this is a lot of fun. Honestly, the game is brilliant when it comes down what it can offer, right? What you can all do in Mana Lords. Like, like I am, I am like, you, you know, when you're playing this kind of game and you slowly start getting overwhelmed, if that makes sense, uh, you slowly get to the point where you're like, wow, I, I don't know what to do anymore. Uh, that's like, this is like slowly, like it's, it's a beautiful one. We actually lost a family. Wait, no, we didn't lose a family. We got 29 families. Uh, we need to build some more living spaces, but we're out of food. It's a bit scary because I do kind of, I, I can build more residentials. I need to build more residentials with the, with the goal of adding things to it. Yeah, we need the production in the background. Without the production in the background, we're screwed. This is literally it. Like we, we like without the, without the bonus production, you're like a little bit screwed. I mean, being able to make the axis is just very useful. Right? We don't have unassigned families right now. That's true. Uh, because everyone is doing something. Storehouse. We don't need the ones in the storehouse. Wedding post. We don't need the stone cutter anymore. That's true. And we have more construction. Good. We're like missing construction workers. And right now we're kind of like we make veggies. We make this. We're we're back to actually getting hunters out. So that's good. Because our hunters are no our hunters are down to 10. We take one hunter away, but we could one more to berry gathering. Uh one forester out. The forester can go for the bonus lax currently. Because we need the fields, right? Why are they not sewing? I don't understand. Hmm. Doing barley. Crop rotation, no crop rotation happening. Okay, the plowing is almost done. Then the sewing can begin, but why they're not plowing here? We got four families in, but they're not plowing. They're plowing the other field. Why are you plowing the other field? You're supposed to. Oh, uh, chin. You're supposed to be working here. The 
field is not connected by road. That's why they wouldn't be plowing here. Oh, makes sense. All the families were there doing it together. I did not expect having like, like that fields where we're so... Another ruler's army were sighted, but they're not even closed. Okay. And I want this area, but I need more money to go to that area. So right now, what I desperately need is more money. I need to start... Exporting things. I could export firewood. And I hate it, but I guess we can export firewood. Nothing special, but we can do that. And if I start making my own spears, because I forced a building... Didn't I force a building here to make spears? We had, we had a building... Goats... Blacksmith. Oh, here. So this one is supposed to make spears from iron slabs and planks. Bam. And this smithy would actually never make... Can only make hammers. I don't understand how the smithy can only make hammers. That I don't understand. Get a mining person out. Bodies need burial. Oh, true. We need to make a corpse pit somewhere. Uh, not all deserve to be buried on consecrated ground. Use this building here rid of raiders. Coming here, right? As a as a distraction, so everyone kind of knows that if they are coming close to the village, this is where the corpses lie, right? Kind of working. Okay, chat. We got a bunch of plots, so that's good. But we still need way more food. Our food is so dreary. And I'm not sure how to make more food at this point. I mean, I have the hunting camp, right? So we're hunting animals. We got the berries, but the berries are essentially being uh, gathered already like crazy. So how do I make more food? I mean, we're trying to make bread here, obviously. I am trying, but it takes another 158 days left to harvest so we're we're busy right while they're trying to actually sow like crazy they're plowing but shouldn't they be able to use the oxen for plowing i thought i can use the livestock but for some reason i can't use the livestock permanent livestock assignment perfect and permanent livestock assignment see that's what i was looking for i wanted them to have a permanent livestock that they could use this, right? This needs to go faster. How do I make this faster? Because we're going to be... We're going to have that problem like where we're out. Uh, I need apples. I need apples. I should have gone for apples earlier. This was a mistake. I should have gone for archots and just made apples. This is just stupid. So this is the streamer super EA. I'm sorry. Hunters are collecting pelts from traps. Double capacity of all parity. I am an idiot. Workers collect honey. Every region can sustain up to two AP. I should have. I should have made beekeeping earlier. I am such a dumbo. Like these, this is like what I'm learning the hard way right now. So yes, the heavy plow is worth it. The fertilization is useless. Uh, good. Um, I should have gotten orcots. 
I'm, I'm an idiot very early this would have been the best thing ever I see the things I already learned about Mana Lord's Beginner's Guide, right, Sean? Ladies and gentlemen, do, do we need a do we need a Mana Lord's Beginner's Guide? Pickens, pickens, pickens right now. We need more eggs. I need to waste my money on an egg production because I'm running out of shit right now. Plow rhymes with cow. Oh, I got it. Thank you for the insign. Hey, I want the own livestock here. Oh, they do actually have a... Wow, this, this plowing goes so, so much faster now. Right? It's going places, chat. Look at him. I just got a schnitzel brötchen chan from the family. Mm, can we still trade planks? I think we can still trade planks actually. Mm -hmm. Damn, I can make more wood. I'm an idiot. I didn't have any wood hanging on the whole time. Pony, you're an idiot. I mean, since we're waiting for the growth, does it actually make sense to have people in here? No, it doesn't make sense to have people in here, right? Yeah, crop growth is just happening from alone. Not much to do there, right? But we need we need like when when do we get like the next perg? Right? When when do I when do I get the next development perk? What do I need to do? Hmm. We're now upgrade to the next settlement. Okay, he's making Gamazons. Wait, are we still buying linen? Did I not stop that trade? Oh, I did export. Export firewood. At least we're making spears like crazy, so that's good. So we're finally we're finally making shields. We're finally making spears, John. I mean look at us, our troops are actually fully equipped. Ta-da. Would have guessed. I could start forming an archer militia. Hmm. And I should start making, um, what I need, small shields and swords, right? And then I can make a I can make a... No, they, they need axes. They don't need swords. That'd be a fa that would be a fail. I need hellbards for the pull arm militia. I need pull arms. And you can make wooden parts?
or pull our militia they need 36 pull arms that's it well we need more we need more man for this chan and we need still need more food what i'm asking myself is can i can i butcher sheep for food because right now so i can make sheep farm right workers collect wool from sheep Right now, I just don't see. I want to build my manor. Requires settlement, small village. Wait, do I not have small village? No small town. I'm a large village already. I can build my manor. Peace, John. Yeah. Shit, why didn't I buy this? Okay, so where, where are we building the manor, Chad? Where do you think? Where's the space? Next to the tavern. Should I be like separate from the people right here in the middle, you know, building some bigger one? And there's no use to be the boss and then not be like close to things, right? <clears throat> Welcome to the castle planner. Okay. Uh, add modules. Outer tower. Wall and gates. Oh, I need to build this somewhere else. Wait a second. I need to build this somewhere else. Because I can make it big, right? Wait, wait, wait. This needs to be somewhere around here. Walls and a gate. At a tower. Tax office. Medics only under work. I, w I want a tax office though. <laughs> uh, out of tower, so we can do this at any time, right? Wait, I'm gonna. Add a gate here. You know, let's, let's, let's see. Let's see what what like you know. Let's, let's make our first manor. The thing is, if you make a manor, uh, you get a bunch of knights for free, right? So it's kind of cool. Okay, we need more money. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we're actually, we're actually, we get crops grows. Look at this. This is great. I mean, we might actually be able to harvest this year. Finally, oh, they're still not done. Shit, this is so slow. I'm not sure why he's doing it alone and no one is like helping. Is this still faster? Maybe I should have built another farmhouse with another oxen. Hmm. We still need more food. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, until I start baking bread, we're screwed, essentially. Hmm. What if I'm just importing? 
Hmm. What if I start exporting weapons? Start exporting weapons and importing barley. Steeble, thank you for the 51 centuries of sports. Steeble, very good to see you there, brother. We'll be doing well. Hmm. Okay, I'm importing barley. And I want 10 surplus. I'm exporting iron ore for three per. I'm gonna be exporting helmets and I hate it already. Helmets, export, and I wanna keep only 10 currently. That's for six per. I'm exporting leather for six per as well. Firewood for one per. And the oven makes wait rain to flower i'm an idiot i need grain barley was needed for mold right that's just for beer oops So I can make beer now if I import that. Um, right? But I need... I need wet to actually make bread. I'm an idiot. Why am I... Why am I... Why am I... Okay, I need to... I need to import wet as well. We're all hyped for season four, but right now we're hyped for mana lords of really building the perfect village currently. Of actually screwing up things too. I mean, like this is growing so slow. I'm actually surprised. I know how to make this grow faster. Where do ah? It's May. Finally, I understand. You need to actually look at the season, huh? Because if you're not looking at the season, then you're doing it wrong. Okay, we are making... I mean, the corpse pit is done, by the way. All the corpses are gone. We are making windmill. Okay, we don't have any money anymore left. How do we not have any money anymore left? And when we finally get some barley, so we're finally making malt, I guess. We finally have a tavern. Okay, tavern is up. That means we can pay, make people happier. But the problem is, what does happier people even do for us? And when we can upgrade more buildings to level 2 and get more money. I guess that's the vibe right now, correct? Correct. 
Ja. Upgrade. We need more wood. Why do we have so few timber? Never made timbers because we don't have enough workers for that. Because the sawmill is constantly sawing and we're not essentially having enough timber today from the day. Okay. The 34 families. We're finally having the tavern going though, Chad. Woo! If the malt house is only making malt. We actually don't have the tavern going because we need. Uh, we need one of the vegetable places and one of the goat places to be turned into a brewery. Because if that's not brewing, then we're not having that going on. Yeah. Down to nine. Berry people are up to three. At least we're getting enough berries at any time of the day. Need more berry people. And we need more food. As our food is always running out at any point. I mean, this is going to yield. Wow, the flax just grows way faster. Why is flax growing so fast? I mean, finally, chat, we're actually going to make barley. A lot of it. But the problem is we didn't need barley. We needed when? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our manor lord's manor is done. We can finally tax people. So... How do I, how high do I do this now? Oh, predicted approval loss is 30. Well, that's bad. Okay. Can I make this as high, high as I want? Okay, no food given to the church. No, 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 no food given to the church. I can't do that. Okay, approval loss of 15. I can stomach an approval loss of 15 for a land tax of 20%. I can work with that. Okay, and now I'm getting my first re re retinue because that's that's what happens like when you when you do this you you get your first lats going. I need two more shields and two more spears. Okay, wait a second. I need two more shields. I need two more spears. I'm getting people, but I should be good. Oh, I'm, I should stop selling armors because we need the armors for the dudes. I'm an idiot. We're selling armors, but we can't sell armors because we need to keep them. Ugh. The goal is to keep 36. Make more tools to sell them, but we can't do that. Import barley to be on five. Actually, you know what? Stop the barley import right now. Just do wet import. Fuck barley. We need we need the wet import. No trade. We need the wet import to essentially continuously have the mill running and the bread being baked, right? The bread is being made, we're screwed. Because now now we at least have bread, we have veggies, we have berries, so the people are getting their food, right? You have clay pit vases money. Oh yeah, we could do that. That's a good point. We could start doing a clay pit. I actually try to get some
try to get some clay. That's a good point. And we could try to sell that for money. Be like, this is this is what, what we're screwing up. I mean, at least we're going to get some flax this time. So the flax is growing really nice. I mean, we have an August. We need to start. We need to start uh, forcing the harvest, huh? I mean, or do we let this grow? Next year's when? I mean, because it's the side of the 22 days, and I'm not sure if we can. I mean, that. I mean, at least we're finally making money again. Jeez, why are we so rich suddenly? Is it because of the taxation, Chad? The tax did this taxation make us rich? Well, that's helpful. more money more better i am not sure why they're like so here unlocks new extension but he's why is, why they're not getting food stall variety is it because we don't have just enough food or again because they're not close enough we just need more varied food at any time of the day that's the problem We're going to be down to one type of food. How, how can we not get more, more meat? That's, that's what I'm currently not seeing, not understanding how I couldn't get more meat. And what do you need to upgrade the church? Oh. Yeah. Kind of hard to under, like, this is, this is just me thinking out aloud, you know, how do we get meat? Because again, we can make wool out of sheep, but I can't butcher sheep for mead. Unless I'm missing something. Was there a level two upgrade I missed? There was bakery, closing, bower, cobbler. Why would I make shoes, by the way? <laughs> Why would I make shoes? Okay, like I'll I'll let this harvest it normally. I'm not gonna interfere, you know. Same here. I'm not gonna interfere here. We'll have this just it says in eleven days. Eleven days left to harvest, right? I think you need more farmhouses with plots. Yeah, but more farmhouses is only good for, um, is only good for more, more farming. Okay, we need clay. Uh, more, more farmhouses is only helping with, come on, say it. Oh. With a sewing, I think. Play furnace. Play furnace is gonna work there. Upgrade to large storehouse. Oh, what? I can upgrade that? I mean, finally, we have somewhat like of 20 food upwards, so our acts are working, Chad. But we're still like consigned to one time. It's, it's stupid. Like I, if I made an ore cut, we would never have that problem. I could have stocked up on apples like crazy. So this, this is annoying me to no end right now that I missed out on the orchard upgrade and I have to suffer for this. That's definitely step tip number one, guys, in, in every good uh, mana lords guide, right? And right now I'm trying to make tiles because if I actually do make tiles here right now. Then, oh, shiver me timbers. We need more timber. Mm. See, they're, they're, they're harvesting, chat. They're harvesting. The harvest is real. We can stop buying things. 
Stop the cab. We can stop importing. What can we import now? good money right we're finally having like a good surplus happening our happiness is overall good when i could probably ease the taxation a bit down to 10 percent which should be fine putting the happiness a bit higher remember we're still running in two months food is only lasting for two months and fuel is only lasting for two months uh which is kind of like a bit sad because it was you know we're hoping for that to last longer I mean, with a with a greater warehouses, we should be better now, right? Because we can store more things, so more more stuff is gonna hold. Finally, that means we can put our timber and all that kind of stuff like longer longer on the on the horizon. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now officially in our stocks uh, 9 wet, 37 flax, 28 barley. So we can make beer for days that our beer is always there. When we only have one beer producing thingy currently, so so only only one one thing is actually producing stuff currently. Blacksmith, brewery, they're making beer. Uh, we can upgrade this soon if the if the actual clay clay thingy is producing more clay. So that's good. We're getting clay tiles. Uh, what do we need now? Ten to uh, clay, 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 flax, flax. Ah, we have nothing to turn the flax into anything useful. Ah, here the weaver's workshop. Yep, that one is missing. The Weaver's Workshop. Good, but we need more workers. The problem is I can't get more workers because in order to get more workers, I need to, um, yeah, I, I can't do more food, you know? This is not working. When we get iron, we get flour. We would need a second bakery, maybe. Or just put another worker into the bakery. Cannery. Okay, where, where's useless people in right now? I mean, the logging camp needs to be logging. The forest camp needs to be foresting. The, uh, the malt house needs to be malting. The farmhouse... No, no, the farmhouse actually doesn't need anyone anymore because right now what they're doing, they're just they're transporting and gathering, right? Family's free. The forge hut is forging hard. La, 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 people are pentrying. We know we're people for sure. Yeah, but if we get more people, we're running out of food again quicker. So we can't get more people because more people is going to cost us. And if we get more people, we could, if we get higher level citizens, we could tax them harder. So that's an option. Upgrade things, then tax them harder. Problem is more that we're running out of fuel currently. And more firewood. 
And now we're back to the our general problem of shiver me timbers and then not having enough uh, deforestation happening. And when we don't even have one for the weaver's workshop, wait, they, they, they actually sowed barley? Already? Is that not useless? I mean, aren't all the crops are going to die? Interesting. tiled bows uh get rare fruit yeah probably probably have to start selling tiles but first we needed the tiles to actually upgrade the thingy you know so we're gonna start we're gonna stop selling the planks we're gonna start establishing a trade route for tiles we're gonna start exporting tiles because they're actually very good i'm gonna keep like 15 in stock at any time because this upgrade costs me 10 we're gonna keep 15 in stock at any time this is actually good that's an eight per and we could start selling the surplus and helmets but these dudes actually need helmets right as far as I understood, they need 36 helmets and they need 36 helmets. So I need to essentially keep 72 helmets in stock at any point. All right, and the rest can be exported. Of the shields, I only need to keep 36 currently. I don't need more. And I can continuously keep selling them. I need to stop that the menus are essentially closing each other out. It's annoying. It means though that the blacksmith, uh, the, the shielding factory needs to be more shield. Yep, perfect. Aha. Right in the surplus field. Now I'm happy with clicking in. Thank you. Okay, we're getting more fuel now. And our fuel is actually like due to having one in the granary. One in the storehouse. People are just going for this. Okay, the, the berries is completely done. A bit sad. It means we can cut more firewood, I guess. Sewing process. Growth. I mean, should we should we force early harvest before before the winter ruins everything? Technically, fourth early harvest. There we go. I mean, at least we get some bread, eggs. We now have flax. We don't have wet anymore. That's gone. Uh. Put one in the weaver's workshop. And with a weaver's workshop, if we're turning flax into linen, we can then make more gambesons. And I think the gambesons would be needed for our dudes, right? We can finally... Put linen into one gambeson. <sighs> Making money. Need to import food. Oh yeah, we needed to import people, trade, food. Uh need to import some apples. Need to import some bread. 
to always have like enough kind of a thing and now that i have 250 i think next next season i'm gonna build myself a new town over there i mean right now we've been playing for three hours chat right and we haven't like done much uh i mean done much we we're just literally surviving i honestly it feels in my eyes it feels a little bit like playing um Frostpunk, because Frostpunk was all about consistent survival, and we we're kind of like, we we're struggling with this consistent survival, right? Not sure how to consistent survival harder, though. Give me timbers. More timber upgrades. Happiness is going up fully. I mean, food variety is also going somewhere. We're making 341. I'm not sure if I have to bump the taxation up again. My firewood is high, so that's good. Like, it was really useful to, to get more storage dudes running. And finally, my pantry is like at least having some food in it. We're, we're handing out beer to the people, so we make the people happy with beer. That's smart. I mean, we can make our church level two. No, we're actually missing... How are we missing planks? Because we have no one in the saw pit anymore. When did that happen? When did I put people out of the saw pit? Did I fall on my head as a kid, Chan? Okay, we're not we're not gonna be running out of food, so that's a <clears throat> that's a good thing. means we can build church 2.0 in a second even though my planks are being used up faster than i can actually make them holy need more planks to sell more things i have 62 roof tiles jeez roof tiles are so easy to create and they're giving me so much of a surplus in money is actually a really good thing. When again, we don't need any farmers here. Farmers overrated. Resource stolen by nearby bandits. How, how do I even stop nearby bandits from existing? Do I just go over there and raid their base and destroy that? Is that it? That, is that as simple as what I should do? That's a rich deposit. That's... Don't deposit. Oh, we're not going to do a winter campaign. Winter campaign seems like a bad idea. Uh, I don't know why these are only five, though. No, they need attack power, shields, impaling, charge. So the ret retinue is only five. They're also only five because we only have five hellbards. More hellbars are being made. Oh, we're we're almost chat. We're almost in spring again. Spring, the big sewing season begins. But then I need everyone like out of their out of their houses. I mean, this fuck this crop rotation. Wet. Screw the beer. This is wet too. We need to pull everyone out of everywhere again. We don't have any barley left. So you don't make any sense there. One, two. 
One, two. We need to get to like the small town upgrade. That'd be good. Our food is plenty, ladies and gentlemen. We finally managed to not starve ourselves food wise and we're in a surplus of money. So despite importing things, uh, we're actually in a good, po good point. We can make our church 2.0. That'd be huge. We don't have any workers though. So that's a problem. You can come out of there. Okay, the mill is milling. Whatever the mill is milling with, because you don't have any flour anymore. Right? The bakers are baking, but they have nothing to bake with. I see he's go he's going crazy with his livestock. Perfection. Okay, we're in Marge. Well, I guess with this food surplus, we could technically try to get more people into the town, but why? What for? <laughs> what will we need more families for, Chad? I know before we do more families what I was planning to do was I wanted to uh, here settlement I wanted to put a settlers camp and how do I get command over another region that I can put a settlers camp there I mean if this doesn't belong to anyone how do you get command over the reason policies available policies are from here so wild animals on rich deposits breed twice as fast at the end of the cost of 50% reduced yields from crops. Or citizens skip every fits meal, reduce food consumption, decrease approval. Uh, so that's kind of like here, policy signed. <laughs> Not what I thought it was. Spend your influence. I don't know how to spend my influence. That's a good point. With our treasury, we're making plus. We had influence. Okay, require for diplomacy and pressing claims. Can be gained from raising settlement level and enacting policy, conquering banner camps, and upgrading your churches and manors. Okay, so we got projection, we got policies. We have settings, help, map. And we get the map. Claim with influence. I need a thousand influence. Ah. So, in order to claim this, I need a thousand influence. I see. So, I need to get more influence. How do I get more influence, you ask? I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I, I could destroy a bandit camp. That I could do. I could send my army out. Yeah, I could probably send my army out to destroy a bandit camp. And the problem is, right now, I only have like five knights. So we, we have like, <clears throat> we have our nightly written you here. Give me those five out of five. Oh, they look plenty weak. I don't feel like we could send them out. But I, I feel like there, there's a tiny bandit camp here, right? But you don't know how many bandits are actually in there. Yeah, I feel like this is this is gonna lead only to disaster. If I sent them out like that. Uh that would probably not work very well. Okay, we get the harvest going, we get the food fooding, we get the thingy thingy, we get the helmets, the spears, the shields, the small shields. So we get all of that. That's kind of actually pretty damn good. We get our planks, tools, parts, roof tiles. 
Okay, we have next our industry. We could start berries into dyes, but we can't do that because we need the food. We could sell the dye then. Uh, we could try to we could try to actually produce livestock, and then sell the wool for more food. You know. Not sure where I could make a sheep farm. For now, I feel like I want to. I want to first increase the headcount of the city. Okay, head count increase. Level two church in the making. Oh wait, my forager and my hunting hut have no one with it. Oh, that's bad. And I'm wondering. Animal rich deposit and the, the berries were not we're not being buried. We need more we need more families, you know? Oh shit, things are going down. Fixation is ruining everything, Chad. Fixation is the death to every good settlement. No, it's true. We hate to say it. Okay, they're they're sewing. Shit, they're not enough to sew properly. Need more workers to do the sewing faster because we're almost in April, right? And and spring is like. Get the sewing down a bit faster. Yeah, more. I mean, technically, we need so many fields that we would kind of like get everything fed the whole time. We don't re rely on things anymore. My mining pit is actually empty. No clay deposit is not empty yet. I thought it's almost empty. Did you research beekeeping? No, I did the biggest mistake in the world, and that was get get myself basic armor making, which is useless. Then I got myself trapping, which enables hunter to skillfully lay traps, which gives passive income of meat. I thought that smart. And that I got a heavy plow, which a plow, a plow, 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 which is actually working as well. What I should have done is I should have gotten myself the orchardery so I can actually get orchards. Uh, and that would have been super fucking smart. Sadly, that did not work very well. Here we get punished for this. At least they're sewing a bit faster now, so that one is working. And we're getting more family plots again. These family plots for now are going to be providing us with... Chickens. 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 Okay, we should be able to grow the families a bit more. When we have the ability to get more families in. I think we should be also able to upgrade some more areas. No, we're not able to upgrade more areas yet. They're all missing multiple types of food, but we actually do have multiple types of food. So I don't see why they're not getting that. Okay, now they're also sewing the... The sewing here is way too late. I in here, we're going to have the growing happening. So we're getting quite some things together already. Our church is upgraded, ladies and gentlemen. That's fantastic. So the people have like the level two church uh, happiness going on. But we need to essentially build even more food. I mean, my, my greatest my greatest problem here right now is how, how am I like, how am I ever going to have enough citizens to pay for everything? 
but to have everyone work everywhere too especially with like like resources that are ending right so so there there's a bunch of resources that are not endless but the roof tiles are, are able to provide me with money now but that's not what they can do in the long run right Okay, we get eggs, we get bread, we get berries. So technically people are getting like two types of food and we should be able to upgrade them. Technically. But practically they're unhappy because they're not getting continuous enough food. So what I would need to do is I probably need to buy more apples. That's so expensive. I mean, we're, we're, all, we're getting money plus money though. So our treasury is finally bigger though. Oh, our treasury is bigger. That's actually good because with a bigger treasury, I can now hire mercenaries. So I could hire the wayward sons. And a pack of local nuisances, right? And then I'm going to take the, my retinue, the mercenaries, the heavenly mercenary archers and the brigands, all of these together. mercenaries but they really have to walk all the way from over here holy balls that's gonna be taking ages oh they would be a bit faster how would it be with a with a bar we have a bar problem is what, what's the bar good for when when you don't necessarily have like a constant supply of uh of alcohol so that's uh that's a bit unlucko right so right now what we need is we need to need to pr provide them with more food consistently or to make uh closing but the problem with closing is that they want like shoes cloaks and whatever what, what is what is actually Cloaks needs yarn and dyes. That needs linen. So yarn I can actually get. That would be by sheaves, right? But for dyes, I would need berries. So that means that we can't have people eating berries anymore. I mean, at least we're finally at somewhat of a of a positive food outcome. Food outcome. And our money is, I think, our money is rising, if I'm not mistaken. Important, I gotta actually pay attention. I think we're getting more money, not less money. I mean, yes, resources are and en en ending at some point. Like they're not endless. We're at least on the necessary stuff, like going going quite good. Well, we've gotten thirty six families, so we've uh, risen in families right now. I'm not sure why we're still getting minus because I feel like we're doing actually good. Okay, we need to create cloaks somehow. For cloaks, we need step number one, a dyer's workshop. Then again, we need a livestock trader. We could acquire livestock. This is needed. We get some, we get some livestock, right? We get some mules and everything, but we need to make baby, baby things. Our food is only lasting for two months, which is always sad because if we ever run like out of things, it's going to be a stinker. At least we're going to make a lot of crops this year. And this is looking good. Our growth is like, what? Another 75 days. We have a June. Uh, the six are yield. 
And this is gonna be how many two days? Our livestock trading post is equipped. See, we're making money for days actually. Jeez, why are we making so much money? Should we maybe cut the taxation short? No, never. Oh, they have arrived finally. So I want to take these three uh, units on mercenaries I hired and I want to have them go for the bandit camp. Let's see what happens. If shit just hits the fan or not. So I'm making this much money. I could probably consistently import beer and that's it. Or I, I import barley on a tenor stock consistently and put one person in the malt house. That one, that one would make people then happy. One dude in here too. No, I don't, I don't import beer because importing beer is actually important, uh, expensive. I don't want that. It would be great if I could get like more families into this right now. It would help a lot. At least our troops are being filled up. That's nice. Uh, what I what I learned is if I make too many level two houses, I think like that wouldn't work right there. Correct. I wanted to build a pasture pasture space 49 and the pasture gets a sheep farm attached to it Does not need to be connected to anything. Assume that the pasture needs to be connected to something. Finish building that. Okay, are we are we getting our beer? Ah, uh, we need more. Okay, so we got barley. We got barley, John. That worked out. We're getting food. We're still making plus in money, so that's good. Barley, food, everything is working. Uh, we're still making helmets beyond belief, and then we're selling helmets, so that's working as well. We're selling large shields too. I think what I would need is another person in the trading post, so he was actually going for more trading. Farmhouse people, weavers workshop, dyers workshop, clay furnace is working, forger's hut, hunters, forester, hunters lodge. They should be 1 1 spread. Okay. Timber planks. That should be working now. I think we're finally getting some beer in. So beer is going to be rising happiness. Oh God, we're below 48%. Since when? How? How did we manage to go below? I mean, we got the food variety up. No, they're, they're still complaining about no food variety. At least two types of food supplied at the marketplace. But there are two types of food supplied at the marketplace. We have eggs. Wait, do eggs not count? Oh, we're making more and more eggs, but eggs don't count. Really? Why don't X count? What can I do with X? Well, perhaps it was Am I... What? These things do happen from time can I not make anything with X? Leather. 
That's bad. So, I mean, they're getting triple food, right? They're getting one food. How how does he get double food and double food and single food? Is it just a temporary, like, fix? Okay, so eggs are not doing anything. I guess I need the continuous supply of other things more. So we need to trade in more... the braiding bread trading completely and just go full on apples and establish an apple trade route so we get more apples regularly but as long as my money's rising we're good i, I kind of miss like a little bit that we are seeing a plus minus so any kind of like um okay, they're at the bandit camp and they attack message when searching through the enemy belongings you find a stash of goods sent resources to the nearest towns okay uh when searching through okay so the bandit camp is destroyed ladies and gentlemen we're fantastic is there another bandit camp anywhere there's another bounding cam. Go. So we're we're just hiring our our like you know thingies thingies, swingy swangies. Okay, so we're importing even more food so that we have always more food that we can upgrade more things and rise the happiness of our people, right? Because that's important. More happy people, the better. We shouldn't be complaining that much. Nerd. Okay, that needs another 11 days. Then the harvesting begins. You gotta like consistently think about having enough people that then when the harvest starts, right? You have enough people there. Because then, then you need one in the windmill and then you need one in the bakery straight away. I mean, at least people are happy for the tavern supply. Some of them. Actually, no one is happy. I mean, do we do we do we make it up to 53% chat? So so we we made it up in happiness. one in the large storehouse so they actually start gathering the goods that they're not like being stuck everywhere hmm okay sheep farm in order to use a sheep farm i need to go for the livestock trader and i need to get myself sheep Import. Five. I was it say pastry space is zero out of four. And then I, I'm missing like someone to put into this. So I need to, you know. Where am I getting someone from to to live in my There's barely like one worker pair per area because I don't have any more workers to magically bewitch out of anything. Right? Where are all my workers? I know they're spread everywhere like one, 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 but still, can it be that I have so many things?
Does not feel like I have enough workers, Chan. At least we're getting we're getting all the all the wed from the fields. Yield two hundred. He's waiting a lot. Let's go. We make more houses, get more families. Yeah, but I gotta look out with my food. Also, we got we are currently not getting more families because our moral is not higher. So it's not a mere question about houses. We could already have three more families. So, so don't, don't get me wrong. We could already have three more families, but we're not getting these three more families because we are. Let me check again. Yep. We're having a problem on the morale side of things, you know? Well, we can house uh, 34 people, really. Okay, at least we got all the all the wet in, ladies and gentlemen. This is great. Look at that. We have 75 wet, and they're, we're getting even more. Actually, we could have way more if we would farm this faster, right? Not farming this fast enough, but we got all the wet, so that means we're making more bread. Finally, we're making flour. Then we're making bread and then we're good. Then we have the weaver's workshop who's actually weaving things. Finally, it's the weaver's workshop. Why is there someone working there? That makes no sense. You stop taxes. No, I need the taxes. I need all the money. That's actually not true. We can, we can stop taxes for Wi-Fi. Can I not do 5% taxes? Yeah, 5% taxes is better than no five, five. Five is better than nothing. I need at least five. Okay, we got one more family. That's good. Uh, one more family to have or not to have. But our, our charcoal is not enough, finally. Wow. Would have guessed. We're actually going to be running out of charcoal times. No more taxed to get more families faster. Never. Never. The, the, the peasants need to be taxed. I mean, seriously, what is this? Less taxes? Where are we living? What does this look for you? Like freaking charity? If the peasantry is not being taxed, how are they supposed to, to know that they're living under my boot? I like in the game it's brilliant i i actually do want to restart um to make things different because so i've been i've been really enjoying this so far but i learned so much that i kind of want to restart to do things better but what what do you think chad did we did we learn like did we learn like everything that we need to learn now to have a better start because right now a lot of my problems are down to to me essentially having like an issue um with things I, I do actually want to like you know that now let's see if we can do the perfect start essentially that would maybe make sense it's not about buck up it's it's about like you know learning the game so this is this is pony off 2.0 <laughs> let's go for the people that have not seen the new star this is the pony half uh shield of uh Continue. We go for the same start, default, everything, begin. The cool thing is that the map is always randomly generated, so I'm not getting the same resources. <clears throat> Conquering new territories. Uh, Oxy, I, I know I know how to buy them, so that's easy. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> if you're checking this out right now, <clears throat> you notice uh, there's a berry deposit here. This is a rich deposit that's actually good. Iron deposit there's stone all the way up there uh we got animals but not many and we get clay so the best the best city would probably start around in this area i would probably start my village here and just have them roam out or i could start my village here and have the berry guy like just put him a bit further out I mean, could begin like building the village also right in the middle here and just have the berry guy walk all the way. 
Okay, so what we're doing this time, we're gonna we you get you get one point very early, right? So you have you have these development points. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get orchardery the first time ever to build like giant apple orchards. Okay, so I'm gonna start right here because last time we built like really, really far away from this. Uh what you begin with is you get things that that are for free. For example, a hunting camp is for free. So this is like the, the hunting ground, so you wanna have a hunting camp for free. What we're gonna do is we're gonna begin by making one road kinda mm, road in the middle. Now we're gonna have the hunting camp for free. Hunting camp can be here. Uh that gets followed up by a forager hut. The forager hut could be placed vastly more outside, but it needs to anyways forge here. So we can put the forager hut right next to it, but we're not gonna do that. What we're gonna do is Huh. Oh, I could actually upgrade the homeless people tent. That's interesting. So then you need a logging camp. So you can essentially do logging, right? Because we need timber. What I do is we're going to put this at this time a bit further away from, from where we're going to be building the actual city area. So we move this out. Then we're going to build the logging camp right there. Logging camp was built. Uh, you don't need a saw pit in the beginning. You don't need a woodcutter's lodge. Actually, you do need a woodcutter's lodge. We're going to build right next to it. So what we can do is if we build these two things, wait, do different. Tent this a bit. Build the road down here. But then we're going to build a woodcutter's lodge right next to it. And the thing is, if you actually build the woodcutter's lodge right next to it, then we can use the woodcutter's lodge together with the other stuff to straight up get our things uh, working. Now, this would be the home for five families if I upgrade this to a worker camp, which is actually really nice. So we're going to connect this to the road. That means I don't have to build like that many living plots. Then we can already start working. So five unassigned families going to build the hunter camp. One family is going to start hunting. Then you have the logging camp being built. And the main goal is to actually build the living spaces, right? But first and foremost, you're going to build like the necessary things to actually survive. So this one is going to be built. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to extend the road up. I can build you right next to it. Thank you very much. A forager. Get berries and everything running. Looks so much better it looks fantastic now we got how much wood left we have three timber left so with three timber left what you can do is residential and then you can build one plot already right provides living space for a single family or two families when expanded what you could do is you we're gonna start here with our first plot gonna build it down here plot points four this in the way I build it in the other direction oh let me don't let me build it there oh not enough goods because you want more more goods so we're not going to do that right now i'm going to let it let it be built currently okay, this one needs a uh, very high priority they built this first because you you just have like these five families in the beginning right so you don't have much more I need to actually get this done. So this is now home to five families. So we instantly have five homes provided. That's fantastic. Because now every plot we build gets us more people. So upgrading this worker camp is 10 out of 10. Now we're already having uh, food being provided by the hunting camp, right? We have the forager hut being built. We have our logging camp logging. So there's one more worker team in there. And our woodcutter camp woodcutting. So this is already providing us with timbers. And this is already providing us with fuel. Actually, we don't need fuel at this point. So we need double timbers. And then the forager hut is for more food. And we get one family left over. And that one family left over is going to be responsible for our, um, our first houses. But very important, you need to pull them out far enough that you get these production buildings on the back. 
because these production buildings on the back are going to be very useful for for leather mead everything now one thing that's for free is going to be the marketplace i think the marketplace can be i'm going to think about it. i'm going to be extending all the houses into this area so if i'm going to build the marketplace somewhere probably going to be in this direction going to have another plot of these buildings happening here that's not another like do i have four more timber yep another plot of these Oh, he can build three. That's no, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. I only want two. I don't want three. Shit. Why is this road so? Why is this road so? Can I can I break down the road again? Can I break down the road again because I don't like how the road is. Remove road. Yes. Uh. Alt and then. No way. What does it say? Alt and then left click? Yes. I need a road that is... Rain? So hard to get like straight roads. Okay. It looks a bit whiffy, but you get the drift. This is what I like about the game, that everything is a bit, um... When, when you, when you have, like, the... The wild animals, you leave 10, hunting limit is 10. So, this one needs to be, by the way, uh, you can, you can have the limit working area. And you essentially limit the working area to this, right? So, they, they really only go work there. A bit stupid because they need to walk all the way out, but that's fine. So now we're already getting more families because we're having like almost 50% growth, right? And we're working on more families. But we have this put down and what's going to happen now is we're going to put the marketplace. And the marketplace comes essentially right here. We need more, so we need to get a triple going. That's not... That's not straight, but... I do. This gonna be the marketplace for now. Good. And the marketplace will be able to put out goodies for the houses. And then see there's the first footstall, and the people are gonna be happy because they're getting food variety. What we can do right now is with our limited funds, because you only have fifty points but we can upgrade this straight up to chickens and we get eggs that's a good thing so now now we have these chicken coops being built in the back there and then we essentially have bread berries meat veggies everything and they're gonna be straight up like happy that they actually get all the all the kind of food like food stall supply right and the only thing we need to buy is water i'm an idiot i forget to build a well i forget even to check the water level before i build a well so that is double stupid and someone should please shoot me in the face if you if you mind could you please shoot me in the face thank you very much that needs very high priority oh we already got one more family chat so this has worked out and what we need to build here and this is why we built this all together uh we're now gonna think about building a We need to build two things. We need to get a... We actually ran out of fuel. I'm an idiot. It took me too long. Fuck. We build a woodcutter's lodge. And then we need to build a forester's hut as well. In the long run.
Because we don't have any heat right now. Not bad. Get it up. And we're almost at a... I need one more plot. And we are already at a bigger village. And then I can start building orc outs, essentially. It's going to be fantastic. Like with one right click, you can essentially reset these things straight away to then restart building. Perfect. Okay, firewood stalls. So we're getting firewood and people are getting happy. So we get a food variety. We get this. We can put... Oh no, shit. We can't put people down here right now. Uh, one cutting camp away. One replanting. So we get a woodcutter. We got the... Oh, we actually had a woodcutter's lodge. I built two. I'm an idiot. Demolish. I built that. Jesus. So we get the woodcutter's lodge for woodcutting. We get uh, for for the for the firewood. Then we get the forester's hut and the forester's hut. And we get the so we, we're double reforesting essentially, right? Because we have all the forest things. And last but not least, what we can build is a sawmill right next to it. We can actually build the church. So the next building would probably be then a saw pit, which is also here. And we like the whole wood industry. This is the wood industry, right? And the wood industry is being fueled by perfection. Now that's our wood industry corner. This is our village. And the village is going to essentially extend all the way in this direction. So this is where the village is going to extend, right? Bandits have stolen our resources. That's sad and hurts. We don't like it. And we're getting more families already. So this is great. We're at seven families. We just need to get the, the food variety up. It's going to be important. Uh, what we should build is a warehouse soon too we're only at 22 timber that's good we're going to be building a since the production is going to be going in this area I think i'm going to be extending this road out They're going to get a warehouse in this area here. Hmm. Something bigger could be there. Think about putting a church in that direction. Looks, this looks already way better planned than before. Especially with the with the refurbishing of the whole thingy. I should swap these things around though. The logging camp and the huts probably. And I'm happy that we're getting enough food, it seems. Right? And what I should do is I should put two people into berry gathering. So working. I have space for eleven families. I essentially now need market and food variety to get things going, right? can do our first militia if we want to. That's going to be... Here, militia. In case we get attacked. And we now have our first settlement, Chan. And this is like the good thing, right? So now you can choose. And this is what I did as a mistake. I, I choose trapping. Enables hunters to skin, skillfully lay traps in the forest, which gives passive income of meat. Didn't work. Then you could do forest management. Double capacity of berry deposit. It's not bad. Uh, you could go for beekeeping, which consistently gives you honey. So you would have a constant influx of honey. But the best part is orchidry, because I can make apple orchids. It's the price of the game. I don't actually know what the price is going to be. So that's the most sense-making thing in the world, since I can now choose to build an apple orchid straight away. Right? Before, could never build this. Now, can finally build that. I don't actually know where it's under, though. Apiary. That's a forager HUD. Mm. As a house upgrades. Right, normal houses, level one houses can... Ah, there. Apple orchids. But we need... Uh, we need uh, money for that. In order to get money, you have to build a trading post in the beginning. 
The trading post could be built actually perfectly here. I love that. I love when, when it just fits in and I didn't even plan for this, correct? Uh, we do need more families, so we need to make them happy. How do we make them happy? With leather closing. Um, I need to check. Do I have closing? I have hides already. So the happiness of the people was rising as we build a tannery. And we build more houses too. How about just getting happiness up in the beginning, right? Pull this out, pull this here, build another three houses. Ta -da. That, that will give us a good yield. I mean, we can already support 11 families. We just need to make people happier. Ah, I forgot church. We want a church. I have a storehouse. I have a saw pit. So we need to put people in the saw pit right now because with the saw pit, I get the church. And the church is like the easiest way to happiness, essentially. Right? And we need only two level two slots to get the next upgrade. And with the next upgrade, you can, for example, go for dramatically lowest the amount of damage caused by droughts to the fields. Uh, you could go for heavy plow, which I find is kind of useless. I think right now the next upgrade would probably be beekeeping so you get honey and just have more variety. What you could do is uh, establishing a new trade route always costs a maximum of 25 regional wealth, which is intriguing. You could go for a firewood card, a permanent market stall, which provides a passive income of firewood as long as the region has enough regional wealth. Regions do not pay the transport fee, must be placed on a marketplace or a food card, a permanent market stall, which provides a passive income of bread as long as the region has enough regional wealth. So I kind of feel like this is also really good. I'm just not sure what the regional wealth is meant with, you know, uh, the regional wealth. As long as I have money, I essentially get, yeah, things. It's That seems like the best way to essentially get food. Uh, buying, buying a granary. A granary would only be needed if you're not using up all the food. And we are essentially using up all the food. I mean, I did try for a granary before, trust me. And it didn't do anything for me. I, I did try using a granary. It just didn't do anything. I, it was really sad. Because I never had enough... Uh, wait, the forest huts. I want them to... Kind of like focus on reforesting here. And... Reforesting that area. Because they're not supposed to reforest this area. Because this is going to get houses too in the long run. Right? Okay, we can already support 12 families, Chan. Out of the house. Actually, plenty good. I'm gonna get this done. We get the chicken coop, so we're getting eggs, berries, mead. Everything is in. And that worker camp is kind of just happiness there. This is a new run. Yes, we've been trying to do things a bit different now. Uh, we're trying out the new apple workouts, but for that, we need more money to actually try them out. I mean, currently we're working on the church because the church is going to be the next big thing. I do have enough stone, right? I have 20 stone, yeah. So we're working on the church. And then, like, so so the idea was uh, to, to see if homeless, these people wait for... But how are people homeless? I don't understand. I have, I have like, enough houses for everyone. It makes no sense to show me homeless people. Everything is connected by a road. Maybe this road didn't count? Huh? Destroy the worker camp. At this point, good point. Good point. But that's actually a bad thing because it just drastically reduced the amount of um, space I have. So I need to essentially build straight up more space.
Don't need more families. Put 12 families in. I mean, we're already good. That's a trading post. We have nothing to sell, though. That's the problem. Right? We get nothing. We get heights to sell, but we need a tannery. We can make leather. That will give us leather to sell. And in the beginning, you can sell timber, whatever. Bandits have stolen my axe. We don't like it. And we can build the church. Problem is the church is so humongous. Wait. Church, could you not touch the area of the wild animals? Church, could you not touch the area of the wild animals? That would be cute. Touching it. We want to build the church like kind of here. This is not the plan. This was not the plan. The church was, was supposed to fit better in. Which can fit there. Fine. Marketplace and church, kind of same position. Okay, we get nine, 12. We can house 12 families. Uh, the trading post doesn't need anything. The tannery is tanning. The storehouse is storehousing. The sawpit is sawing. The woodcutter is woodcutting. The hunter is planting. I can pull one out for more construction teams. Let's destroy the road as well. Relocate the hitching post to. Why do I have to carry this alone? This area for now. No church jokes here. Okay, we can suddenly house 12 families, chat, with an approval of 59%. We should be getting more families in by the dozens. But we do need to make money, and that's that's extremely important. Because if you're not making money, then you're kind of like screwed. Also, Neil, pleasure to see you there. You'll be doing well with her. Okay, we're running out in two months of everything because we're not making enough firewood. Why are we not making enough firewood? Because we have no one in the storehouse. Because if no one is in the storehouse, then everyone has to take care of their plots alone. That's another family done. That's another like we're we're getting we're we're flying. I mean this this is like the difference between obviously knowing what you do to an extent, right, and not having like a goddamn single clue what you're doing before. Uh, who who are we going to sell? So what, what could we trade in the beginning? We can sell off planks if we wanted to, because you actually don't need planks. So we're gonna export planks. And we're going to try to keep a store of 10, I guess. And then we're just going to trade the planks away currently. I can also trade away... Berries trading away would be too stupid. I can't trade food away. Trading hides away. I could trade... Any for leather or route. Fan. By the way, this this game is just eating time like crazy. I, I don't I don't like I'm absolutely bamboozle like how fast time is flying by while I'm just having like my casual open minded fun here, right? I'm just enjoying myself. So it's very important to actually have one in the in the um, warehouse because if one person is in the warehouse, right? The warehouse dude is actually going to open up these market stalls. And otherwise, if if that is not the case, then the dude, for example, here this family owns a market stall. If you assign them, the market will have to be taken over by someone else. So, but if he's in the market stall right now, like putting his firewood there on the table, right? Then he can't actually do anything for firewood uh, in, in, in where he's working. Right? Okay, we're, we're making some money, Chad. We made some money. But we still need more people and we need a lot more money. How did we bump up the money production the last time? I mean, we had a tannery and we had more... Oh, uh, we had more goads. Hmm. That was, that was definitely it. Rest well. Callum, thank you for being here. Greetings, everyone, by the way. Also, oh, what does the barrel here mean? The, it's just the generic storage is full. A generic storage is here, for example, that all the locks are being taken. So, howdy, everyone, by the way, to the Manor Lords. Good to see you all there. I hope I hope we're getting you excited for this game. Because it has plenty to offer. We could upgrade buildings, finally. Chad? And the thing is, so if you upgrade a building, a level 2 building gives you 
Uh, one dollar regional wealth per family per month. So that that's very good. So that means we need to take the guy out of the saw pit for now. I can upgrade some of the plots. Oh, we're at 67%. Yes, yes, look at that. Closing market supply, guys, has bumped up. And that's what I was talking about, getting that, getting that leather pumping, right? It gives me another family, then I can put that back into the saw pit. Our biggest problem right now is that our wild animals are so limited. Because limited wild animals means I'm getting limited leather. And with limited leather, I mean, last time it was way easier to get leather. I mean, this time it's very easy to get berries, correct? So I would actually have to assign like two people to kind of be um, farming berries here. And then that's actually not true. If I have two people to farm berries, I need a granary. A granary is the storehouse where food is being stored. So you put here right now, and then they would just put that in. You might regret building your houses back to back like that. No, I'm actually pretty happy. Thank you, though. No regrets. The first time I actually have a lot of food. <laughs> okay, I would like to have one more family. That would be quite good. Actually, I'm, who am I kidding? I need two more families right now. Shin, why? You're only getting... Really? We're only getting one communal crafting space thingy right now. It's a bit annoying. Ah, oh, that's 12. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Settlement level increased, so we get the next point. But what's the next point that we're going to take? So I should probably make honey, correct? Because last time we went for basic armor working, but that wasn't u that was useless. We could go new trade route. Um, the new trade route thing only costing 25 regional wealth is nice because that makes things go faster. Because you, you can understand like when you, when you get new trade routes here, I, I pay a lot for trade routes later on, right? But currently, if you would have the trade routes, then here, after paying to establish a trade route, a dedicated traveling merchant will regularly visit your region to trade only the specific type of good. So for, for later, this is like 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. This is okay. 18, 18, 18, 18, right? The, these things here, they cost way more. It's getting like vastly, like, and per trade route, it's getting getting more expensive. How does it feel compared to Banner Lords? It has nothing, uh, like, like Banner Lords has nothing on this. It's vastly different to it, though. So you could save a lot of money. But again, a permanent market stall, which provides a passive income of firewood, or a permanent market stall, which provides a passive income of bread, as long as the region has enough regional wealth. So I can make food cards, and as long as I make enough money, I get infinite bread. I kind of want to figure out how good the food cards are because it seems like so smart to just make infinite bread. Because the problem with the bees is that only two... Um, you can only have two, two beekeeper thingies and you can't scale them higher. It's like kind of like the problem because you, you can't kind of like get more. Can anyone please finish the granary? Okay, we get our first level two house upgraded though, by the way. And I can make an apple orchid now, chat, because I have 50 gold. Boom. That means this one here officially is an apple orchid and it's making apples. So we get another source of food now for free for the first time in a long while. Other streamers, they usually stretch the houses longer. You don't you don't need to stretch that longer. Uh, you need to only stretch it so far that you get the production slots. So don't worry. Uh, like they're they're stretched enough. You, there's no there's no this needs to be stretched five meters. No, it just needs to be 
just there long enough, if that makes sense. Arca tra takes three years to produce. Uh, that's fine. This is a uh, this is a uh, like this is something you get a take as an as an thing. Even if it takes three years, the sooner you get them, the better. That's why we're trying to get money out there. I mean, the first the first years you're getting you're getting like with berries and everything. You usually get get along there. Quite nice. Okay, that's a family in here, and then a family in there. Boom, double berries. Because now I can pull the berries out, and I can really farm the berries empty before winter hits, because winter is actually hitting right now. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a rough winter. We're going to be running out of food. Actually, that means we need more chickens. I mean, we do actually have a good amount of chickens, so we have two chickens, so that's quite nice. Where's my where's my map? I lost my map. No, where, where am I? What? No. The settlement. Sorry. My map for a second. It's only cost twenty five wealth. We need more upgrades. Requirements not mad. Wait, full food supply just ran out. Jesus, just ran out. Okay, so the berry deposit is empty, so these two workers can get out. At least we got 27 in there. Mm. More into trading. Church is churching. We should have upgraded more of the buildings before we actually went bankrupt. We can do another chicken coop for now. Actually, that's not true. We need to do... No, we can do another... Mm. Think about, like, like putting sheep on the table because the problem is, yes, I need chickens, but I also do need... Um, I do need goats to actually produce some more heights because else we're gonna run out of leather and that would be problematic. Are you been very good, Tully? Thank you for asking. Now we need more more orchards. Let's just see if we actually survive the first winter. Because we are running low on food. <laughs> you know? I can always trade for food, so I can always buy some, but not much. Last time I had it vastly easier because we had like a bigger supply of wild animals. 73% approval. I mean, 73% approval is pretty low at this point. Okay, we got the timber. What can we build? Oh, we can actually build the bread card. Yes, we wanted to try that out, right? So this needs to be put on the marketplace. I can put I can only put one of those. Wait, which one did I build? The food card. Yeah. And the food card is, is supposed to produce food as long as I have money. But this one is now making food. Oh, see here? Four. It cost me four gold. Well, that's okay. That's okay. It's draining me of my resources. But it actually gives me a consistent income of food. So if I make money, which is the interesting part, right? If I make money, then I, I then then if I'm if I'm taxing my 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 citizens, and if I'm making money, then I essentially cannot uh, stop having food. See, like the, here, another food, another bread. Boom. I mean, sure, this is draining my coffers at a scary rate. But now if I do get my people to be taxed. Because every level two building is being taxed, right? Fantastic. 
This is working as intended. Let's make more living spaces. I'll fill this up here. Shit, I don't have the resources. Oh, how am I out of timber? Okay. See, but we have 21 money back, and this is making me more food once again. <laughs> okay, that food card is that food card is fantastic. Why wouldn't the deaths make it with multi? Dude, this death is a single dude. It's one single death that made this. One single person who put this game, who made this game possible. Why, 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 why is there not more? Why is there no multiplayer and so on? Well, sir, I mean, like, like the, the dude barely get, get this done alone. You know, he pulled this off alone, completely alone. And the game is better than most AAA title games. I don't think that multiplayer is in any way needed to make this game better, fun, improve it in any way. The game is, frankly spoken, very good and fantastic. Servers are expensive, exactly. I mean, like, you know, you, you put a server out, you need to pay for the server to exist. You need to pay for people to be able to play on that. You need to make sure that the netcode is working. You need to continuously monitor your servers that they're actually, you know, doing well. And my settlement increased again, chat. Jeez. So we get another development point. What are we going to use this for? Uh, we could we could now make honey. Okay, chat was asking, Pony, could we make honey? There you go. Now we can make honey. We figured out how the supply cards work. Now we figure out how honey works, okay? There it is. Uh, workers collect honey. Every region can sustain up to two apiaries by default. That means I'm going to be making honey here. Ta-da! Can we make beer yet? Uh, we can make beer, but beer is for later. Like, it's just not useful now to make beer. I'm, so I'm sorry to say this. It's not useful now to make beer. What I'm currently waiting for is more income because I need to make my apple orchid. I'm still not sure if it would be better to make a bunch of lobby thingies, but I need more money for an apple orchid. What about the building of the herb garden? So, uh, allows Forger Heart to grow herbs is just good for ill people. Um, so far, I've not had any issues with, with illness occurring, but I also upgraded that very soon. So, maybe that's on me. Like, maybe I should just upgrade that soon, but I'm being a bit greedy here. Because I'm currently trying to use my money smart again. I mean, I'm currently having in the foot card, so that one is working actually really, really well. Might have to have people never go hungry, so that's actually very good. We're, we're never we're never having people. Be hangry angry. I'm not sure why this one is here abandoned. Like how how do I get someone to essentially take care of this food card? I mean probably when I need it again, someone would go for it. That's not draining my money. Okay, now we can make the second apple orchard. I mean, apples do take three years to happen, right? So, apple harvest happens every September, every year, until trees are fully grown, which takes around three years. The orchards produce only a fraction of the yield. And now we have these, and there needs to be... There needs to be people taking care of these. See, that's another two workers you would need. That's actually harsh. Needing another two workers for this. Okay, we got this there. More than more than one worker on this is laughable. And okay, now we we. Um, <clears throat> I could need one more family. I 
Man, it's, it's always comes down to the point, like, I could need one more family. I could need two more families. I could need three more families. <laughs> this is this is the constant thing you will hear when playing this game. Because that's what it boils down to. I could need more families. I mean, we're at 76 approval rating, which is actually really, really good. We have enough firewood. We're almost out of food. How are we almost out of food? And now, now comes to my question, right? I have this food card. There is five bread on it. How do I make this food card not be abandoned? How do I make sure that someone takes care of this? Because someone certainly should. We've received reports of a band of raiders roaming track their movement. But for some reason, this one counts as abandoned. It makes no sense because it shouldn't. Should we just relocate this? What are you trying to relocate there? I'm just trying to relocate the food cart. I see that that makes no sense for me why this one is not being in any way. Okay, two people on the forger side. Two people on the trading post. There is someone in the trading post. And this one's not for the trading post. The food card says permanent market stall which provides a passive income of bread as long as the region has enough regional wealth region does not pay transport fee must be placed on the marketplace but technically if i'm not going completely crazy it should produce a constant stream of bread but I feel like this one is bugged currently. Same. They actually do pick up the supplies that are now on the ground. Here, see, they pick up the supplies. They sent the, something was bugged there. The card instantly abandoned again. Maybe, maybe the food cart is bugged. Maybe I'm supposed to let it soak full and then just break in. Yeah, maybe that's, that's the thing. Okay. We get the two apiaries chat and we're essentially producing honey. It seems. I'm not sure about the apiaries yet. I mean, finally we got here uh, growing, growing berries. And this one is down to 10 meat. So we need to tank him out. Put three in there. Like a lot. The berry production. I'm going to play Anno again. Honestly, this one trumps Anno for me. I'm enjoying it vastly more. Personally, and another 51 gold so we can make more apples. I mean, again, like this, this is my, my plan was from the beginning, make apple archives. I mean, you can see these are growing, right? The apple trees. Okay. One, 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 one. Oh. Our trading post is still selling planks. And we got... Now oh, we could sell firewood. Exactly. Port firewood. And we're only keeping 70. Currently. For two gold, we can establish a road. 
actually really good more complex different it, it's just different in the terms of the micromanagement of actually being having to like assign things and so on so like, i could i could now take this building again and relocate this another time right and then people would take again these supplies and suddenly we have five bread a bit weird how that one works It's, it always soaks up to five and then it stops working. Okay, so we learned the hard way something is broken about food cards. Four in there, one in there. Let's improve the settlement even more. I mean, where would I put the next uh, bunch of settlers, Chad? I mean, technically we could use this full breath here. They've given leaves and fix. Now nah, I'm I like so so the thing is I like the food card, but the constant drain on my coffers, I, I thought it's gonna be less, but I would currently say that the the food card is definitely not worth it in terms of putting a point in there. I'd rather have put the point into double the amount of berry deposit. Because if I double the amount of berry deposit here right now, this would go up to vastly more right and i would be i'd be able to gather like so many berries that i'm essentially good for the for the rest of this season uh that, that's like very important i mean right now our food storage can uh hog up to 500 and we have like four people in here so we we gather like really as many berries as humanly possible because more is more right when we're selling things we're growing our apple orcrots so these are not having any yields right now but I think this will this will really pay out. The problem is, for the price of making one apple orchid, we could have made multiple uh, goat farms. But actually, we're good without a single goat farm in the lesser department. So that's good. Uh, we keep making apple orchids because we wanted to figure out how good they are. I mean, this is going to essentially be all, all the apples, right? All the apples. Do you assign berry pickers to the area? Yes, I, I did tell them only go here. Only go here not worth it like like this is this is the good area where they make the the most most things so they're they're really going hard on that and we get the apiaries being farmed i have six honey chan i mean it's it's working i would say especially for the food variety that my houses are now having like i see i can upgrade more houses so that the upgrades have never been easier in terms of having like level twos. And again, the more level twos you have, the more money you earn, the better it is. So that's actually, so I would say this one, I would, the apiary next time build it over the food card. Does the game get out of hand quick? No. I mean, the first time, yes, it felt like it was getting out of hand relatively quick. Uh, but if you understand how your resources work, if you if you make the most out of it, because again, uh, your starting point is always random. Like you could you could be essentially very resource starved or not. Uh, I've been really lucky. For example, I got a very wild. Um, I got a berry deposit. So my my smartest thing would be actually building two forager huts, not one single forager hut. I should build two forager huts to truly get everything out of these guys and just send as many berry gatherers out as possible. Because as you can see, I'm not getting this one destroyed. So I'm not getting that one to any point where I don't have enough. That means I, if I, if I really duly, truly farm these berries hardcore, um, I can also make dye out of them later, which is very important because I do have this lucky berry deposit. I need to be like smart with my resources to really, really uh, get the most out of it. And right now we're trying to grow our settlement. We're at 19 families. We can get 23 in total plus. Uh, we're also upgrading our plots to level twos, which is nice. We could reduce the market card again, but we get 16 honey and 75 berries. We actually have 16 honey. Jeez, that was quick. And we get another 50 gold so we can build the next apple orchid. And again, we've been orchiding it up. Here's the next 
So after three years, <clears throat> there's our first apples chat. After three years, they start throwing out the first apples and three years go faster than you think. It's suddenly like wooba dooba loop loop and you get the three years. Important is that you manage to build up like like a corner, like as always with Anno, you got to have your forester's hut, right? You got to have your logging cams. Because if you don't have a combination of forester huts and logging cams and put them all together, you're going to be constantly like asking for resources, resources, and resources, correct? And no one wants that. You should put an icon when the house is ready to upgrade. I mean, you, you have this icon here when you hover over it. So I think it's pretty, pretty telling. And again, you want to upgrade these to level twos really, really quick because they essentially give you... Uh, it says here, so you get one regional wealth per family per month. Okay. But what I'm missing is essentially a regional wealth calculator <clears throat> that tells me how much regional wealth I've been gaining. I would really like that to, to kind of see like what's going on. Uh, we're going to add a herb garden to this one because right now I'm kind of missing this. And we're finally getting this down. You, you notice it's a rich deposit that regrows every season. But we it only regrows until winter. And then we're screwed. So right now we're trying to fill up the berries as quick as we can. And it's actually working. It's the best I've ever been food-wise. Jeez, this is insane, actually. Screw meat. I mean, meat is important right now for leather, for heights. That's about it. And I'm soon going to get apples on top of that. Apples are always harvested in September. So if I get my ne next 75, I'm going to like build one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh shit, this is, what, what are you? Oh yeah, six, six seven, seven orcods is my plan. And then we'll see how far that goes. When he's selling, he, he gets a horse. Oh, does he get a horse? Horse makes him a bit better, you know, on the, on the trading. I mean, we're still selling the planks. Uh, we're not selling the lesser. We could start selling berries, but... That would give us a lot of money. Uh, I think it would counterproductive though, because we need to scale that up. What you could do is you could try to get the clay early, sell the clay. Do we have an iron deposit? I have an iron deposit. Wow, I have a 69 iron deposit. That is so sad. <clears throat> I'm essentially forced to import iron. What I need right now is this one. So let me, let me show you what we need. Uh, we need something called a dye building to make a dye for colors. I think dye is the, the word, how you pronounce it. Because here the dyes workshop, right? Uh, uh, makes uh, berries into dye. And if you do that, you essentially have something to sell. Product. And since we're making so many berries, that would be a potential option. Because people can't be eating berries all day. Be an option. Uh, we can make another orchid soon. Okay, we can upgrade more buildings. Jeez, we can upgrade more buildings. We're, we're very good on the upgrading spree. Uh, I would put another worker into the logging camp because I need more... Here. Also, let's pull one more out of this. I mean, we got two berry farms, and now, now you finally notice the berry deposit is actually going down, right? So if you have two berry farms with four people in each, that's too much. Like, they, they can't handle that. So I can pull one more out, and then we have, like, three workers left over for working right now. I mean, the meat guy can't actually get more meat. The granary is granary ring. Uh, we are selling firewood for money. Uh, we're gonna have to buy him a horse because if we buy him a horse he's a bit more efficient actually double trading post should be a bit better okay this one is being built so the dice workshop and if you look for for die we have the trade here it just sells for four per four per is actually pretty good you can't you can't tell me it's not uh, that's huge monetary gain and I, I don't know how much it actually needs to transform though that's like the bigger question Okay, we have 23 families. I need to build more houses because we need to attract more citizens. And I'd say we're going to build right here until this. Mm. I wanted to continue building. I'm 
Not sure about this yet, but I think I wanted to continue like building up here. Again, always make sure to too steep to build. What? Oh, because this is the the fog. Really too steep to build? I got robbed there. Really too steep to build? My village was supposed to extend in that direction. No, this is this is unacceptable. This is where my village was supposed to extend. Very not good. That was where my village was supposed to extend. No. Robbery. Oh shit, the raiders are coming in 150 days already. I kind of ignored that. Very hard ignored it this time. I mean, last time our 20 dudes was enough to fight of the raiders. That was good. Oh, uh, wait, let me check. Is the... Ah, uh, here. Berry deposit is empty, chat. So we can pull all of these out. Up. All right, we finally managed to empty the whole berry deposit. It gives us five bonus workers. And we get another 68, so we can make another apple orca. I oh, know we need to keep the money now. We can need to keep the five orchards. We can put two more in the honey production industry. <laughs> um, we should stop selling firewood. Let's just uh, enjoy selling firewood. You will regret that later on. No trade, but export the die. Only want to keep 10, so the rest goes out. It's going to be a lot of money. And we need to start building, and now it's very important. I need to start building the iron deposit. I don't, I can't get much iron, right? But even the little iron I can get. Even the, the little the little piece of iron I can get needs to be hand. Okay, 23. Okay, so we, we fixed our food issue with lucky land things. This is this is like this is brilliant. What we need right now is pottery to make a lot of money. Because that, that was the last time. How do we make a lot of money? Uh we get ourselves pottery. Insanely useful. And then we build a... What was it? A... Clay furnace. Uh, for the clay furnace, we do actually need stone. So that means we also need to build a... Pottery, clay, or stone. That means we need to build a stone cutter cam all the way here. Fantastic how far this is out, right? So this is going to be a bit painful because you essentially have these being so far out, but we do have three worker families and we're going to keep them. When we're currently at 78% bonus, right? Our firewood is going crazy, so that's nice. We actually do... Just thinking about getting more firewood. No, we could put one more in the forest's hut to just put more 
trees down because we continuously need to have enough, right? And we can check if we can upgrade buildings because again, more level two buildings, more income, more income, more, more choices. Because I have like a bunch of buildings. Wait, I'm 137. 137 is a lot. Um, I can now get another here. We essentially need to make spears and we need to make workshops. So right now I'm going to take the lower area down here and these are going to be all workshops. This is going to be a joiner's workshop and we're going to make shields in here. And this is chicken. This is chicken. This is chicken. And this is chicken as well. So we bought chicken to our apples because our apples are growing. Did we actually get apples? We get apples already. Yes. Boom. We got we got three, four varieties of food, guys. We get free honey. We get apples. We get we get the berries beyond belief, which is actually crazy. That's nice. What we need is two now, though, because our people have more and more requirements for leather. So what we need is goats and goats because they do produce leather and it's actually really important to have that. Okay, these two are staying empty right now. Where did we do the where did we do the leather workshop, guys? General, ah, we need to make big shields. So he needs wooden planks to make big shields. That means that we can't export planks anymore because we finally need them. Right? I need the planks. That means we're only exporting dye currently. Dye is making us good money. But not only are we only exporting dye, we actually have a bunch of buildings upgraded to level two, which allows us to have like the the bonus of, of like bonus money here consistently. So that level two upgrade went faster than ever. That means that with the introduction of the mine, the mine is finally done. We need to start mining. And we need to start. Yeah, that one will be also perfect. We're at seventy-three percent. I'm not sure how I could get more at this po point. We can pull all the people out of this. The granary is going to do the job alone, so that's perfection. We can actually put one more in the granary. Now we get the mine mining us steel now. I'm gonna get steel and steel needs to be turned into what's the thing called again bloomery good i mean there's gonna be like houses here as soon as i can build there are more houses I played Medieval Total War for decades, just finished a game recently, but damn, I could use an upgrade and this looks like it. Uh, this definitely has intriguing fighting, but not to the level of uh, the Total War kind of fighting because Total War is just more. I guess that's the best way to say it. It's just more, right? Bigger. Okay, so what we would do now is we would upgrade this one. So this one is shields, right? We would grow, upgrade this one to... Oh, this one is not level 2. Oh, you are a level 2 house, but why can't you be a... Because we don't have planks. How do I not have enough planks? Because there's only one. Let's put two in there. I was like, always interesting how you're, you're on the search of workers every... It's like every single time we're on the search of workers, right? It's never like, do we have enough workers? It's always like, how, how do we get, how do we get more? We can build that house there and then we're happy. Again, my houses were supposed to go all the way out there, but that's not working. We can't go in this direction. I kind of limited myself in a very unlucky way. I'm going further in this direction, I would say.
We have the land. Another six. When we get the food, like look at this, we're at 120 food and it's going for February already. So our berries are just about to run out. Our honey is just about to run out. We still have the apples, right? Everything is going on. It's actually pretty fucking amazing in this regard. Uh, we need to put one more into the restocking. So we're, we're like in a very, very good position. Way more productive, way more productive, but we're trying. The raiders are coming in 17 days. We can, we can save here. Raider time. It's kind of like intriguing that there's already meta upgrades that are just way too useful to ignore, right? We're 211 gold. With 211 gold, I could... I should just upgrade all the things here. So we have apples, 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 apples. We get chickens, 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 chickens. We are getting more leather than ever. So we could actually start selling leather because that's the thing with the goat shed and the goat shed again. You kind of create this, this super production where you can then trade off leather with a trade route. And that is export and we would only keep 20 and continuously sell it off. It's like you're making so much money, right? I mean, currently what we need is we need one in the bloomery because we finally have but i thought we would have steel stones blocks tools planks where would be ore iron ore we have iron ore yeah so we need to put this one away have one more construction dude one single stone dude is stoning we need a stone dude the hunting dude can't be hunting right now anyways I and mean, that our food is enough is like it's kind of like love for me we need more families so we're currently constructing for more families we get this the foresters woodcutters Pop it. Two forces out for now. Fuck yeah, we get four plus. That's so nice. We're 28. 29 is going to be incoming soon. And this needs to be just done very fast. Why do you not have fuel stall supply? That makes no sense because we have the firewood. There is the fuel stall. Why are you not having fuel stall supply? Is it because I would have to put one more in the storehouse to have like the double happening? That could be a thing because I've been having that problem recently. Also, for some reason, you're not making large shields. Enemy units have been spotted. Raiders are near. They're still far away. I don't think they're this far away like they were last time. I mean, my, my hope is that we actually have enough time to produce some more. Because the plan was that we have here is shield production. And I wanted this to be a... But we need planks for that. But currently I'm not having planks. I don't understand why they're not making planks. We have two in the saw pit. We're not making planks and we're not selling planks anymore. Where are my planks? Being attacked? No, I'm not being attacked yet. Attack is coming in a bit. That's the attack. I'm asking myself is again where are my where are my planks. Put them all back in here. Pull out. Pull out. Pull out. Pull out. Yeah, I mean the shields are planks, but it's using only two planks per shield. And he's he actually didn't <clears throat> we're not getting any planks right now. 
This building here, the saw pit, is for some reason not producing any planks. Despite us having the timber. Friendly doesn't really make much sense. There's the enemy unit. Before the enemy unit does anything, we're going to take our lats. Rally them out of here. Push forward. Come on, dudes. You got this. My spear militia is better. Your dudes are nothing compared to mine. We got shields. We got spears. Last time my dudes were better equipped, though. They lost one already. I mean, we wouldn't have won. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> so something is broken about the wooden plank production because these guys are actually not doing anything. It's weird, but they're... Okay, they're fighting right now, but they're actually supposed to be doing things. I think I'm going to assign a livestock to this one. Um, that might be my problem, that we actually do need more livestock. a thing we we routed him ladies and gentlemen disband unit go back to working My berry deposit is not uh not done yet with growing. Oops. Trying to force that there. They probably need the oxen. They they do move things around quicker. See, like this one is connected. It has the lock stored, 15 locks. And this one has like like the problem is they they don't ah see now they're pulling in the locks. Finally they're working again. So I guess this was really like a problem of lacking oxen at this point. It seems so trivial and so stupid, but I guess that's that's really was it. I did the trick there. So we're making steel, and this one was supposed to be a smithy. Because now we're finally making planks again. Right after all this time. And my berry deposit is growing again. That means we need more berry people. Buried up, boys. Ah, did you point the second one together where they're supposed to be gathering? Good point. Uh, shouldn't matter, though, because they can only gather berries at the respective spot anyways. Right? Bodies need burial. That's true. Bodies need burial. I'm going to have to make a corpse pit. <laughs> the, the, good old, the good old corpse pit. Here. Comes right next to this. Okay, we need more villagers. We're at 79% approval rating. That's good. We should start taxing the shit out of our villagers soon. What? Sorry, who said that? That's That sounds like very not okay. Like, who would do this? I, I would do this. I would text the absolute living shit out of my villagers. Okay, so this one is now a smithy. Because of this one is now a smithy, right? We need more. I mean, I, it's nice that you're beekeeping, but we need more. Wait. We're finally at 30 families. I mean, you, you notice like one, one thing in this game is a shortage of uh, a c consistent shortage of uh, workers for things, right? That, that's what you're, that's what we're stuck with. Like consistently trying to get more dudes to do some upgraded tasks 
and we're, we're just we're, we're we're flagging right we're, we're hardcore trying to get this to get this done definitely get another oxen and upgrade this i should have gotten more oxen earlier that was my mistake here right now okay by the way our apples are consistently producing apples honey berries we get everything going uh, the deposit is full, so we need to put more berry gatherers in. I mean, you noticed that last time, right? We need at least five to six berry gatherers to drain the berry deposits. And don't forget that we're essentially constantly having dyes being made at the dyer's workshop that we then trading out because that, that is where the money is, right? We're having dyes being sold for, for uh, four each and we have leather being sold for six each. And that consistently gives us an income that makes us rich. Especially because you have like, you have unlimited supply, right? You have goat farms into your house. The goat farms are making leather. So technically in the beginning, like I made the mistake of making apples, right? What you should rather do is you should actually make goat farms beyond belief and then have these goat farms be responsible to, to create leather that's then being sold, right? That is, that is actually an infinite money glitch in the very beginning. And it's so easy to set up. It's actually like silly easy to set up. So they're making spears now. When we got tools, tools, charcoal, we got iron slabs. Don't forget the apples grow for three. I mean, the apples are growing obviously and we're getting consistently like good things. So apples, apple trees need three years to grow. And then as they are grown, they're consistently producing things uh we haven't actually started doing clay yet but i'd say the infinite money glitch is definitely making making um making leather you should definitely try this out like i i would kind of like to start a new game just to see if i can infinite it, it, like if i if i can do the infinite money glitch right in the beginning So that's the thing if you if you could make yourself like tons of money then you could essentially like from the from the beginning on um just just live uh just, just keep importing food right I mean, it should be possible. Could make for a funny video. Put someone to the course pit. Now you don't actually have to put someone through the course pit. As soon as the course pit is constructed, uh, the workers usually um, like like they they take shifts. Like whenever whenever someone is randomly available, he will actually go and uh, work in the course pit. Does the soil matter for the grain and so on? Good question. Here you can see this is underground water. This is uh, fertility, flax, barley, uh, rye. Smell is currently in the work. But yeah, this is like the fertility. I mean, it's actually really fucking good fertility this time to, to know what would actually grow. One of my favorite things actually in the game right now. What am I going to do? Do I grow more apples now? I mean, I have the funds currently with 500. Um, infinite money glitching coming, Chan. I'm trying. I'm trying it out. How much? How much can I make? How much leather? How much height can I make? I mean, that thing, one, one tannery actually with one dude in is creating so much leather, it's actually crazy. If I could, if I could get that one, uh, we need a second horse. And right now, we're having resources for days. That's nice. We're getting all our buildings upgraded. I mean, this, this town is already insane in in comparison to what i had before right this one hasn't even started apple orchid again they take three years to grow but who cares we 
if demand goes down, is a real market? Are you in trouble? There, there's no demand going down. There's no, there's no real market dynamics, which I'm actually very glad for. I really, I really don't need real market dynamics. You know, I'm playing a computer game. <laughs> I'm happy with fake market dynamics. Thank you very much. Okay, they're both growing. He's woodcutting, uh, saw pitting. Oh, we can actually upgrade this. I was looking for for upgrading that. Uh, we have 34 families and we are making six more spaces too. Where are the people that this is currently taking so long? What I'm asking myself. Like why, why is no one walking down here to actually craft these currently? We have three free crafters. Buy another oxen. We get all the horses. I mean, from a resource standpoint, we're insane this time. Uh, okay, let's see how many goats. Oh, we have 13 heights over production, Chad. Okay, so I'm going to make another tannery now. I said that. I'm going to do double tannery. Because, because essentially, if you have two tanneries, right, and you have double tannery production, and they would sell the leather here for, for like six per, correct? Chad? Could I then not buy food for free? Because that's essentially the thing, correct? The food costs 12 per, and I'm selling six per. Could I then not just import food for free? But it's not a glitch it's just it's just what it is right it's just setting up your economy this is how games work i'm not even mad this is this is just you know and then i make an infinite apple production here because now we're getting apples for days correct so we're actually never out of food. And not only are we out of food, we actually have a triple supply of food. But this is like the easiest way because, because the um, the tannery is like a one worker thing. Okay. So so it's like I need only one worker to make that work. Whereas for the other stuff, I would need more. So so like right now, I only need, need one worker to have our tannery essentially just basically doing what it does. And the goat farms are goat farming from alone. You know? So so the goat farms are they're goading from alone. I don't I don't actually need to do anything for that. And we're 35 families already, 72. I, I should probably start building my manor to text things, right? I always wait so long to to build my manor. But you should build this like very early because you can build it as soon as you're a small village. I'm already a small town. <laughs> right? You need workers for oxes. Uh, hover the free farms. I mean, that's why we have have like three free farms, sir. Uh, building more hitching posts or upgrade one to a stable. Otherwise, some livestock may run away. Oh no! Do I have too many? Too many? Uh, buy too many oxen. Oops. This burgage plus causes loss of approval. Which, which is this one? Why? Eh? This one? Or why? Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say, sir. It doesn't make no sense why it would cause loss of approval. 
But if you if you if you if you say so. I want to eat clay tiles to upgrade our church because then we would already be on on tier two demands. Okay, that tannery is not done yet. I mean, look, look at our pelts, by the way, chat. We are at 15 heights bonus and our basic tannery can't actually keep up with that. That's the question. Did I actually need to buy a second tannery or did I just need to put a worker in there? Wait a second. Why am I building another tannery? That makes no sense. More free workers because the berries can't be collected anymore. The berries are empty. Access goods needs to be moved to the storehouse. Wait, can do do the large storehouse? Does no one work there anymore? That's weird. Because before you have the small storehouse and people are actually working in there, you know. Weird. More free workers. Jeez, we're getting we're getting families like crazy at this point, Chan. They're just they're just floating in. Okay, the Apple Archive is going crazy. We have a bunch of constructions going on here. Uh we could make we could make even more goat chats, but I think I have enough goat chats. I mean they're they're kinda like I've like eight, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh Seven goat thingies to essentially give myself an overflow on constant leather. And I put three people in here, which would technically make them continuously craft, right? I want to have always more leather than is good for me. Let's see the amount of livestock, though. If I assign two workers to this. They always take care of these two oxen then. Here, this is now a normal storehouse, right? Okay, bye now. What would our weapons say, Chad? Yeah, we got we got spears for days. Look at this. I got 80 large shields. I could actually start selling shields because shields sell for so much money. So you would establish a large shield trade route. You would export. We would always try to keep like 16 and the rest goes out. And right now we, we just have the infinite money glitch going. Right now our leather is currently at 55 leather. So with five workers, and seven farms. I have infinite leather, so I have infinite money. And then we build our cool manor on top of that with cheese and cream. Which would end up at the end of this road, so we're not living so close to the peasants, Chan. Fine. Right. Going to take care of that the peasants don't don't try to by the way does the tower have to s go outward or inward inward right yeah this is the first first step to to supremacy and soon we're gonna to get the treasury up and as soon as we get the treasury up we're rich anyway my infinite food infinite food glitch infinite honey glitch no where's our honey why don't we have more honey Brother, we can upgrade all of these buildings already to level two as well. Stupid. I mean, can, can you can you see how much better this is going? This is an early access preview for streamers. It is, and it's so much fun. I'm not sure. I, I really want to do some Manor Lord videos, but I'm not entirely sure what kind of Manor Lord videos to make. So I'll have to look into this. What I want to get done is a level three, um, level three le uh, thingies because I, I haven't done that yet. I've never gotten level three things. So that's something I want to be better at. We need to upgrade the woodcutter's lodge to a triple. 
because we need more kindling and these are all yeah this is this is perfect my this is down to two that should work with enough timber at any point Action fuel stall approval will fall if not fulfilled. Enough fuel in the marketplace. When we have three fuel people on the marketplace, we have the firewood. Do we? Do I need to build another? No, I need to go for the points, and you need to, uh, you need to research charcoal burning. Because that is one firewood into two charcoal, making refueling twice as efficient. Oh, otherwise, we we'll probably have to build another. What we could do is we could build. Hmm. build another cutter slot and we could build another forces hut probably when we get we get the villagers right now to get them all cooking right we can keep extending our village i mean it's like knowing that they don't have enough fuel supplies that's because my market is just too small so we got the general goods merchant, which is actually setting up market stalls as well, right? And I can't upgrade this to a large warehouse because it was weird as, as I... Um, oh, wait, the large warehouse is not done? Oh, no, who... Why was this paused? I'm wondering why the large warehouse is not getting done because, because I paused that. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's why I can't put workers in there. Oh, and I'm wondering. I'm wondering the whole time. Hey, anyone wants to feel very high and mighty stupid chat and then then how about you forget to like do your construction and then you wonder why you can't actually assign workers and why things are being weird because now you don't have enough stalls because technically you do have enough uh wood being cut right so enough things are happening but the problem is that if you're not having the um like if you don't have these people from the large warehouse essentially set up stalls then there's not enough stalls to actually get the get the supplies to everyone right and then and then your dudes are ending up without supplies because they'll go there and then there's not enough there oh man how stupid i feel right now okay our food is is it running out am i not having an infinite money glitch again going on <laughs> So we can do taxes. I have 10% taxes, the 8% minus, then tithe is 5%. So we give some food to the church. Uh, that means we create infinite money currently. Um, I would buy another horse for the merchant. Then we would trade for... I mean, probably trade for food that we don't have, right? We don't have bread. So I would trade for... Bread costs, costs too much. I trade for meat because we actually don't have much meat. We're constantly out of meat. So I'd import meat um, and we'd always make sure to have 20 meat and we would also get a trading route for that. Boom. Done. Now let's see if our money's actually going down. We're at 1433. Uh, we have some taxation minus approval, but we have plus for food variety, which is actually really good, right? So we just need to keep the food variety up and then we should be cooking. I mean, we're going back to February right now, which is quite nice. And kind of want to have more things i mean i'm actually going to destroy this probably we have two people in there two in there they're working here in market stalls three people in the tannery one in the workshop one in the furnace one in the bloomery castle planners back there we need the bigger church because church two is important Where are all our workers? That's, that's what I'm wondering. Where are our workers?
Resources stolen by nearby bandits. Okay, if you touch my resources one more time, I'm going to shank you. Where is nearby bandits? That's light mercenary inventory. Inventory. Oh, I'm just going to grow my treasure rate, Chad. I'm going to do as I did last time. It was actually really good. So what you're going to do is you can grow your, grow your treasury. Then you go for higher mercenaries. Uh, you're going to hire the ravenous vultures. And the contract. Thank you very much. And then you're going to take that. And these lads are going instantly for the closest. And a camp. Nuke that. Okay, we're February. I mean, last time I was actually bothering with farms and such, and now I'm I'm like we're completely fine, correct? I I need closing, which is okay because I'm this time I'm gonna be making a livestock and take care of cloaks. I'm mean, again, look, look at this, guys. We're hides and leather. We're constantly overflowing. Our money is our money actually growing. So we're currently at 1224. Resolve the claim on the battlefield. Use King's favor. What? Old health is being claimed. I can't, I can't have him like stop that, right? Because if I would do that right now, things would be looking bad. Oh, what is this? These are my lats. Oh, what's this? These are my lats. So they would attack the bandit camp. Bandit camp sent. I'm, I'm taking this. Then we're going to the next bandit camp. Like mercenary archers, you you better move away from where you are right now. Or we're throwing hands. That's actually it. More bandit camps. Kind of. Like what? What if I what if I attack these archers? When he has 36, 36 in troops, I, I could probably, I could probably like, oh, shit, um, I didn't mean to do that. Battle for Goldolf, which is that's Eichenau, that's Waldbrand, that's Seblitz, that's Nuzlu, that's Hofstetten, Goldolf, shit. You know what? I'm just going to nuke these archers there. They're already there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hire more mercenaries. Uh, because I have the money. You know, why Why would I not? I currently have the income to finance my avaricious appetites. We're not building more and upgrading your retinue. They are cheaper than works. They are, but I, it's not like I have any problems in the money department. I mean, I, I'm more than, than fliggity flacked out. Right? I never build shoes. What do you actually need for shoes? And I've never built... Boar's workshop, but that's what we're going for. And right now, I need to actually turn this over to create... Hellbards, because we have enough we have enough spears at this point. I mean, I have like 41 spears, large shields, everything. So we're actually making things, but I'm selling these things. Okay, we need to pull things out. Honey guy, honey guy. One dude here, one dude here. Where's the rest of my lab? We have five lads there. We have three in there. We have two in there, two there. Three there, two here. I'm wondering, I, I could probably support more villagers. Ryan? more villagers and i haven't even given them all here something so i could again i could make more apple orchards for infinite apple glitch <laughs> oh 
Well, these are all level two upgradable as well. What the fuck? When I barely have any non level two building at this point. Holy balls. I mean, like, if you look at this, it's like mostly. What is this town? This town's getting fully out of control. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got my my dudes and we're going to go for push forward. They're being shot up by, by bows, but we're going to get wall spread out, run to position. All fatigued. You know, just keep running away. I need to save my troops. Oh no. I didn't want to disband them. That was not the plan. I was. Oh, okay, that was a mistake. It's okay. So I wanted to just send them back. You know, like like you do with your normal troops. Oops. Well, that's a bit unlucky. Didn't mean to disband them. I mean, seriously. Do we do, do we need more hitching posts? So that was a bit unlucky. It was by no means intended to go that way. Okay, so is our infinite money glitch still still infinite money glitching? I mean, we're selling shields, we're we're selling leather, we're having hides going on. We have our tannery going. We're just sold. We just sold everything we actually had recently. Our dyes are being sold perfectly. Uh, our berries are still... Actually, we could stop selling berries. Did we... No, we never sold berries. We're not getting enough berries, though. Why? The puzzle is growing. And we got... Well, because we have, like, only a few people in there. Need more people to to be going for berries. By having like so few guys, we're we're like actually running out of things. Oh, pit. Oh, it needs to be like saw pitting still. Let's make one in the saw pit so I can put one more in the berry factory. Yeah, I mean our our units are getting food hungry. Our our citizens, right? But as long as I just keep putting out orchards, if they, even if they take three years to grow, again, we're bringing this back to a bunch of orchards here. If they take three years to grow, make enough of them with infinite food. You need to farm for Alien Tavern. I mean, you, I can just buy everything. I can make it worthwhile for you to drop all the claims. Uh, drop paragraph here. Uh, I may withdraw my thing for such a price. Okay, peace declared. Did I, did I get money? I got money. I got paid off, Chan. Okay, they don't have fuel again. So the problem is <laughs> that we really need to put people into the storehouse because we're not having people in the storehouse. Then they're not getting their requirements met. This is this is so interesting to me. It's like the same the same thing here. Oh, by the way, she's selling berries and meat at the same time. Questionable vests. I mean, what I like, it seems like you don't need to be in the vicinity of the marketplace. So these buildings might be all the way back here, right? But as long as they're able to pick up their fuel things, it's completely fine, right? And things are good. Mm -hmm. 
where are you looking at work area wise you're supposed to look work area wise here right you know that now our berries are going crazy again we need more families <laughs> how can i how can i be out of families once again chad when we got 75 percent approval which is amazing so we just need net more berries now so the thing about ale houses is i would i would essentially not even consider uh farming for things because it would be way easier if instead of farming for uh, houses so a kiss thank you for the 27 months of support magic room thing of the 69 centuries so instead of farming for that i could just buy everything i mean right now you notice we're we're like are we actually plus in the money so what, what are we doing we are we are trading away our leather we're trading away our dyes right so that is consistently giving us money we get the export going so that's a good thing but we are currently not producing Why are we not producing as many hides i'm wondering because we get the goats actually requires refueling because we don't have enough workers to refuel things Like it's two large storage house workers. Just wondering. And take one out of the tannery. And we get the church. The church level two is still not done. How is the church level two still not done? What are you what are you doing with your time workers? So I guess my main problem is that I don't leave enough workers most of the time, huh? Essentially get like warehouses here. This one has a 28 out of 28 log storage and that's why it can't actually create more logs. One more in the storehouse. Essentially, continuously peak picking up things, right? The church is done. Now, these would be under the influence of a double church. What do I need? I need double church, and then I need a tavern. So, if I now get the tavern, we'd be great, right? Oh, and it gets a living space for an extra family. <gasps> wow. Wait, I want to see that. I want to see that. So I need to... I, I'm, I'm making minus money. Fuck. Well, taxes need to go up then. Oh, 150%. That's bad. I'm not sure how I'm making minus money though. I, I feel like I should be absolutely cooking in, in, in everything, right? We get the trade going. We're even selling off our shields, which is quite significant or should be significantly well. When I guess in order to sell off more shields, I could make... How many planks do I have? I have 45 planks. So instead of only making one set of shields, you could upgrade a building. I made I made these all into apple orchards, didn't I? I need to upgrade you. I need to upgrade... Upgrade you. Meat is expensive. I mean, meat is expensive, but we're we're not buying that much. And again, we we should be able to spend the trade on meat because we're essentially having enough honey and everything. We probably have more honey if I actually would put more people into the production. Where's the question? Like, do, do you put more people into the honey production? Is there like a limit on how much honey can be produced? Right? Because honey seems to be able to be produced all year long. So this one would now be a... I'm not having enough fuel stalls again. What I was thinking about is building another... Like, like kick, kicking one orchid out. Building one joiner's workshop and then having like two use of our wooden planks. Make things.
Problem with berries is the berries are like a limited commodity. I can't do much about that. You see, they would be making bigger shields too. Correct? Requires refueling. We always require refueling, but we have the firewood. And yet we constantly require refueling. I mean, we, we couldn't even start with farms right now. It's, it's like the crazy part. So we need all of this to basically exist, right? Can you build ponds or lakes for fishing? No. No, you can't do that. So we need all of this to basically exist, to breed, right? We're finally making some more money. That's a good thing. You got two livestock assignments. Is, is there anywhere where I can see all my livestock? Something I've been like wondering for a while already. Bandit camp was sighted. It has nothing to do with me, supposedly. August, our berries are running dry. We get, we get like all the berries, we get all the apples, we get all the honey. Even though we have like, we have six workers in, by the way, we're running out of honey. We get our warehouses, we get our stable constructions going on. This one can be made bigger. Now we're making more shields than ever. Thank you very much, sweet potato. Good to see you there. Fantastic to have you with us. Thank you for the 23 months. I think there was one of the mining deposits depleted. Oh, we already did that. The mining deposit is gone. Uh, the stone deposit is still there. So, but, but we don't need stone. Uh, so we're good. The, the clay is also depleted. That's true. So clay is depleted. Then we can just demolish the mine. I mean, we made as many clay tiles as we could. So we are at a maximum output of clay tiles. Don't forget that we will need clay to upgrade roof tiles to upgrade our buildings. So to level three. But again, for level three, we would currently need the tavern. And for the tavern, we would need beer. Now, I could again start the whole beer production industry. Or we just try to make even more leather. So right now, I have, for example, this down here. And I can make goats. 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 I feel like with the amount of goats I'm actually making, we should be we should be crazy on the uh, provides passive yield of heights. I'm not sure if if there is a um, a magnitude to it because I kind of feel like with the amount of apple orchids that I have, I should have oh I have an insane amount of apples. Okay, <laughs> with the amount of apple orchids I have, I should have an insane amount of apples. Now now that my apple orchids also have all grown over the X three years, I should just be cooking. I mean, the same as it goes with chickens, right? We're consistently producing eggs. So you, you can actually make three types of food without even trying, right? Which is actually kind of nice. Probably after the trading post one more. Okay, so we're finally making plus money again. Even though like with all with the amount of level two buildings, I feel like we should be making more plus money. And the taxation we have going on. Like I'm, I'm kind of like bamboozled like... La Last time we we had like three thousand money going on. So what, what were we selling last time that we made so much more money? I don't see it. We're saying the iron ore. That's true. But we're essentially having like infinite heights, or we should have infinite heights, right? Why is this different from other games in this genre? I, I can't tell you. I mean, it, it, I can tell you that it's very fun. I'm enjoying it tremendously. It works well and smooth. Uh, the fighting is kind of cool. Uh, I haven't fought that much because I'm more interested in the actual building building, right? Okay, I just lost a chunk of money for nothing. And I'm buying nothing currently, right? I'm not crazy. I'm not buying anything right now. I'm only selling things. So what did I lose money for? Only exporting things. Hmm. Making shoes. What am I making shoes out of? I build a cobbler because I wanted to know what he makes shoes into. Oh, he's using up my leather to make shoes the whole time. Oh, 
Uh, wait, isn't that an infinite money glitch? I'm wondering where my leather is the whole time because I'm making shoes. That means I'm actually going to be selling shoes because that's that's even better. Where's my shoes at? Sidearms, warbows. Charcoal, yarn, commodities, shoes. Here. Open in the trade route. Export. Keeping 10 shoes. Okay, let me see. So if I continuously make height and then I might continuously make leather and my leather is continuously being turned into shoes. But should I make another shoe shop? Shit, I upgraded them all to goats. Fuck. I need I need a shoe shop. Sorry, Apple Orca. You need to be turned into a shoe shop as well. I need to test how much how much like two shoe shops are essentially taking in resources, and if I need more goat buildings then. Let me get more. Sometimes he has like some weird zoom just happening out of nowhere and you kind of like, I did not click this. More families. <laughs> get the resources, so well, wouldn't I? Bones, planks, roof tiles, everything. Okay, we got the dyer's workshop is dying. The tannery is tanning. The the heights are hiding. Though we're getting way more heights than we can actually take, and we're getting way more leather therefore that we can actually use. Okay, while well, we're getting more, way more large shields than ever, and this one is also now cobblering, so we're making way more shoes than we can essentially harbor. Yeah, so this is great. There's more more families in. So my, my plan is like I'm I'm for some reason I'm losing money again. I don't understand why I'm losing money. Oh, I just upgraded a bunch of buildings, yeah, sure. But I'm also not making the amount of money that I should. But we're not don't export leather anymore. Export dye, which should give us a lot of money. And then you're exporting shields, which should also give us a lot of money, right? I mean, they have like everything. Wait, resource stolen by bandits? We're not having that. Where there's a bandit that could steal me a resource. If that bandit cam stole me a resource, then I feel like robber doodled. I'm going to hire... Out of my treasury, the Ravenous Vultures again. I mean, they get paid out of my treasury, so that's fine. And then I'm going to send the Ravenous Vulture in the middle of winter all the way there. Okay, so what I need to figure out is if I can buy beer infinitely. Okay, so the main question is, can I buy beer, Chad? Right? I need to buy ale. The route is 288. It costs 18 to buy. Oh god, it feels so bad. And barley is only 12 to buy. And barley, like, then I have to just get a what is it called again? If I buy barley, I just have to get a. Uh, I mean tavern. Come see here. And right next to the tavern would be a. Malt house. No, I need barley, malt, and then I would have to have a building that also makes the beer. Uh, okay. No, wait. Now we're gonna try out just buying the beer. I hate that that it costs eighteen, but let me just let me just try this. Okay. So we're unlocking the trade route, and I would import ale. Always make sure that I have twenty ale. Now, technically, I should be making enough 
money that this shouldn't phase me. I mean, we are at 68 happiness, right? If I buy ale, we're going to make everyone even more happy because we're going to be having ale. Uh, and I'm making leather. I mean, we, you see, we have 19 hides. We have 48 leather. We're making shoes like crazy, and we're just selling shoes. And I only want to essentially keep... Like, I'm selling my shields, correct? I'm making large shields, and this is an infinite making, actually, because it's, a, like, you know, products to be made infinite. I'm selling shoes, and I only want to keep 10, and I'm selling also per 8 per. Then we're going to put in the tavern, one person. Two people, one people, one person. Unless I'm buying now beer, I would get more beer. And then if they get beer, I can upgrade them to level 3 citizens, and then I can make more money, correct? That's that's the plan. Oh, I could annex a new region. So like I can claim I can claim this here. So wait. Rich animal deposit, berry deposit, iron deposit. See, this is a very rich iron deposit. That's actually amazing. Uh, but I need the rich clay deposit probably. But this is a good clay deposit. So press claim towards the region. So I want to have this. I put a claim on for a thousand. My mercenaries are destroying this. I the resources to the nearest town then i'm moving my lads back to where they belong good so we have no one in here no one in here we have all the guys in here my my bees are being around haha uh -huh. they're, they're be being all right john okay i'm never running out of food because i got apples that's fantastic the only problem that we're running out is the third food variety at some points. Uh, we have... Okay, so we're making money. Did you see? Did you just see the amount of money? We, just, we are just a thousand money, chat. Our boots just sold. And we just made so much money. Like, look at that. Wow. Another 300 boost. So the plan is working out. We have 13 hides. We have 50 leather. So we're always fully leathered up with one tannery. Okay, one tannery. A bunch of goat farms. Uh, then we have two buildings that are actually making shoes. And we're selling shoes like crazy. We just need to make sure to always have a third style of food. But as long as we're making plus money, we're good. Oh, uh, my! is my beer being beered out yet? Um, buying ale. Region claim, Nuzlo's mine. Whoop, whoop. Uh, where's my, where's my beer? I have I have beer, chat. I have beer. It didn't cost me anything. It was for free. My tavern actually. Uh, see, we we got it, chat. I can upgrade my building to level three. But what does the warning residential requirements will increase mean? Okay, let me let me get that to level three. I want to see. We need more wooden planks. Why don't I have enough wooden planks? What happened? Because we have winter and we're running out of resources. Yeah. It's winter and I made a mistake. It's okay. Well, we got more family members joining us. Okay, we, we, got, a, we got a level three. Chat, look at this. This is level three plot. Finish this. I want to see it. Okay, that's... Come on. Come on, finish it. It'll be all too hard. Abandoned camp has appeared, Chan. Abandoned camp, abandoned camp, abandoned camp, abandoned camp, abandoned camp. Trying that. So, we can have 54 families and we only have 51 families, correct? So, level 3 house chat. It needs a tavern supply because it's not having enough tavern supply. So, we need to buy more beer. Is my beer already empty again. Where's my ale? No, we have 19 ales. So, where's the problem? We, uh, we probably need more people in the... 
Now we need, we need more people. To have them happy all the time. Okay, so what can they do though? So this is just that more people live in here. So another family can move in. And that's about it. Right? We're finally out of berries. Wow. That's interesting. When I should be at the point where I actually stop selling the dye because we need to start stacking up on the dye. Because you need to go for... Okay, winter, winter is slowly going over and this is growing back. And we missed a nearby bandit camp. That's what we're selling our people out for. To go for the nearby bandit camp. Honey people going down. I feel like honey people can't infinite honey around. Can we get this regrowing, that regrowing? Two are always enough in the logging cam. Triple is enough in the firewood. Large store has three. This has two for the sawing. Get enough planks. Because we're actually running out of planks. That's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, the tannery loophole is working. The clay furnace is not doing anything anymore. It was also not doing anymore because we don't have any more iron ore. Okay, so we're four, we need we need roughly four people to deliver things around. If we don't have four people delivering things around, we're kind of being screwed. So right now with the beer being bought and always having enough beer, right? So we have enough beer of 20, which cost me a whole hefty sum of money. But we're essentially never running out of money. So that one is good. But we're for some reason having these buildings step back here that are losing food stall supply. And I don't understand that because we do have enough food. We have enough apples. Everything is here. So where's your problem? Where are you not having your supplies met? Do I need to build them closer to the... things because like like i really i really don't understand like these are these are saying they don't have food right when we obviously have food do i have to build like another marketplace just close by is it because oh no you know what it could be that the granary needs another worker to have more stalls happening it could be his thing berry deposits so we're gonna have to stack up on berries there's no tomorrow. How can we consistently be out of workers when we actually don't really add more things? Chad. Explain. Explain this to me. How can we be out of workers when we don't add more buildings? Any cool upgrades to the mansion? We actually haven't done much in the in for form of upgrading yet. I mean, what we did get is another region. So we have a second region that we can actually go into that we can use, right? The sawmill, lumber, planks, shields. Shields are being sold. Boots are... Wow, I have 116 boots. Ow. And can you even sell that many? Am I just waiting like for one, one, one ginormous... Uh, sale of boots at this point right and i could probably buy more ale so we're always at, i have 150 boots john your thoughts on this game oh i'm i'm uh, enjoying it tremendously to kind of like figure out the the mince and max the 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 fun that you can have uh it's it's really it's really something But especially of like trying trying to kind of figure out like the whole worker situation and and trying to kind of make it work it's 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 something but uh but a good something you know
We can upgrade these all to level threes now. If we had enough wooden planks, because these are actually taking wooden planks like crazy. Some veggies? Uh, nah, veggies overrated. It's just, I, I really enjoy trying to figure out what, what do your guys need, right? How can you get it? Uh, do you build an independent production for everything or not? I mean, obviously it's always better to build an independent production, right? Uh, but if I consider, so, so in order to, in order to actually produce my own beer. Okay. Uh, in order to produce my actual beer, I need a farmhouse. I need a gigantic, um, field. That field needs, I need four workers for that. Um, one worker for the barley, then I need to turn a house. So in order to have enough beer, I need like another six to eight workers again, right? Al alone to get the beer production running. We're kind of like, do, do I really want to do that? Oh, I get a new development point. Oh yeah, because I went up. So with a new development point, you could go for enables the beekeepers to also collect wax for candles. Uh, doubles the amount of meat harvested by hunters and butchers and from goat pants. Here, it says butchers. I have not seen butchers yet. Robbery. Oh, enables the building to extract resources indefinitely if placed above a thingy. That's crazy. That's, that's amazing. Here, by the way, sheep grazing on the pasture slowly multiply. So you can have the infinite sheep glitch, guys. I think this is actually really good. Like like having the, the sheeps be able to multiply. So, so that means that if you finally have sheep and actually bought yourself sheep, then they would just be going on. Damn, Chad. Okay, so this was our day one of Manor Lords. I think we'll do more of this. I mean, I really enjoy the game. I think tomorrow you'll see even more Manor Lords. Maybe we start another new game to try out some things to, to see like what you can optimize, how you can do things even better. I'll be watching some videos myself. I'll consider if I actually do some YouTube videos about this because I really like this. Um, but yeah, this is this is pretty good. I'm really enjoying it. Also, you seem kind of reddish. Well, I was out in the sun, so so I'm I like, you know, I, I got something that's called healthy skin. <laughs> so thank you for coming, chat. Thank you for being here. YouTube, Twitch. I uh, hope you've been enjoying this. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow for more. Uh, a bit later because I have to bring the wife to the uh, airport. But we'll probably be playing more Mana Lords and I'll think about some... If, if I do want to make a video or not, we'll, we'll see about it. I do actually like the game. It's kind of enjoyable. So have a great good time. See you tomorrow. Love you all. Good night.